Hello, welcome again to Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm joined by this man, Mr. Tomek Kapira. How are you doing, Tomek? Hi, good. Uh, how was your travel first off? Come to the UK? Good, good. First time in Wales, what do you think? First time in Wales, yeah. But I've been in Bristol, so it's quite near. Yeah. Cześć, tutaj Tomek Kopyra z blogu blogkopyra.com. Witam wszystkich widzów z Polski. Uh, hello, Marco. Uh, Marco is uh, my uh, moderator, so if you, if you can add him... Uh, uh, I will. Um, you know... Uh, Up here? No, uh, click on Marco. Oh, uh, hi, Martin. Yeah? And uh, Ad moderator. moderator, yeah. Okay, so Marco is our moderator. Thank you very much, Marco. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he won, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's a very really good uh, moderator. So okay, uh, I see some guys from Poland, but of course we will be uh, talking English. Uh, we have uh, six uh, six new stuff from the. Uh, what is the name? I always uh, can't remember this name of the uh, town. Par oh, Penarth. Penarth. Penarth bottle yeah. shop. We bought uh, six beers. Uh, this is uh, Magic Rock and Northern Monk. A really micro IPA. They call it micro IPA. It's only 2.8 ABV. Yeah. 2.8 alcohol. Really good. Uh, we have. Uh, oh, yeah, this Northern Powerhouse. Northern right. Powerhouse. Uh, this is also a Northern Monk, but with collaboration with Black Lodge uh, collab, yeah? Yeah. And it's a mixed fermentation farmhouse. Uh, it's Brew Series 003. Uh, it should be should be cool, 7.5. Yeah. Shark. I like shark. <laughs> Even sharks needs water. <laughs> IPA. Um, I think that will be our second uh, choice. It's from Verdant. Verdant? Verdant? Yeah, Verdant. Yeah, that's, Verdant. It. that's it. What is that not correct uh, pronunciation? The, I, I used to call it Verdant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Verdant. That's it, Verdant. Verdant. Uh, little, yeah, left hand giant. Left hand giant. Left hand giant. So we're a brewer from Bristol. Yes. We are going to visit it. So on Wednesday. We'll Wednesday. be there on Wednesday, yeah, I imagine. Uh, it's a foreign extra stout. And this is a Welsh brewery, one I've not tried yet. Locapoli. Locapoli uh, from uh, Blackbrook Malt. Uh, it's a Citra Equanot India Pale Ale. And Cloudwater IPA Equanot Simcoe. We can compare the other. Here's Equanot Citra, uh, here's go. Equanot Simcoe. Okay. Brilliant. And before we start, I would like to thank uh, Tom, he brought me some really special but you want to see these guys only from poland really special beers from from poland um i'll hand them to tomek he can give a brief description fresh fresh from the brewery um kuźnia piwowar which um, means uh, uh, uh blacksmith of brewer something like that okay uh, it's uh, pina colada milkshake ipa with Fantastic. uh coconut uh toasted coconut pineapple wow. lactose and hops Sweet, sweet to and uh, and uh, bitter. Uh, this is freshly from the brewery. And we're gonna we're gonna find a nice place in Wales to film this uh, video together. Uh, next one, another new brewery for me from Poland. Twenty sixteen. Browar Kazimierz from New de Krakow. Um, the name comes after the famous Polish king. Uh, he was even in uh, Civilization uh, Six. Okay, the game. No six, uh, five. Five. Uh, Imperium Cara Mustafi. Uh, this is Imperial Coffee Milk Stout. Fantastic. Wow. Wow. Great. And this one? Imper Imperium Pronum. Uh, I, I think the, you tried. 2017? 27. This is 2018. What's the difference? Uh, a smaller bottle. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, so they haven't changed the recipe. Uh, no, of course, each year is, each year is unique. Uh, but this is smaller bottle, not half a liter, but 375 milliliters. The master of Hoppet said that is his best beer he's tasted from Poland. Peter from Denmark. Mm -hmm. This is Dark Forest, a uh, collaborative brew of bro brewery Nepomucen and Vidava. 
this is Imperial Baltic Porter with uh, spruce, pines, and uh, and one more uh, tree. Needles. Pine needles. Pine needles. Uh, pine needles. Uh, so it's uh, really, really like forest. Uh, you feel like in a forest. And it's really strong, really potent Baltic porter. It's uh, 9.3 ABV, 24 degrees Plato. Fantastic. And Octavio from uh, Brovariana, Brewery Yana. Mm. The name is John's Brewery. Oh, John's Brewery. Okay, that's a very yeah. Welsh name. Because uh, Welsh name. Jan is a Polish uh, version of John. Okay. And uh, and uh, the owner is Jan. Okay. okay. Uh, this is his name. Uh, this is quadruple uh, barrel aged uh, in uh, which barrel? Bourbon barrel? I don't know. But in some barrels. Fantastic. They look, yeah, very good. The presentation is is, is really really good. Yeah, a lot of car uh, a lot of uh, cardboard really boxes. Good. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> hey, we we missed one beer. Oh yeah, I brought this one as a as an extra. Sour Damson IPA uh, from Magic Rock and uh, Hawkshead Brewery. And the ABV on that one is maybe a low one. Is it low one? Sour. Six five. Six five. Six point oh. five. Okay, uh, put it. We can put it in the fridge. Yeah, to keep it cold, and start with this micro IPA. Thank you. What you what you're uh, writing here? Uh, yeah, Martin. Uh, uh, Martin Fox said, "Dark Forest is a blast." Excellent. Be, be, my, be my host. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Should we get this one out? This is Micro Machine Double Dry Hop Micro IPA coming in at 2.8% ABV. Magic Rock collaboration with Northern Monk. This should be really good. You've had Magic Rock? Yeah. Northern Monk? Yeah. Great. Uh, there were a computer game, Micro Machines. That's it, yeah. Do yeah. you remember it? There, yes, there were a small uh, toy cars. You can uh, 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 make a, a race on the floor or in a bathroom, and on the now on the computer as well. You play computer. It's on the Apple TV. It's a game. But I'm using Tomek's glass. Life is too short to drink crappy beer. Crappy beer. Look it's true. <laughs> it is true. It is true. Ah. 150 viewers. It's okay. It's but good. why only 22, 29 thumbs up? All thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up. Okay, one finger white head. Good combination. Yeah. Um, Slightly hazy beer. Hazy, yeah. Hazy is, uh, is trendy now. <laughs> mm, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay, let's... Aroma. Take a sip. Uh, okay. Aroma. Aroma. <laughs> I feel like diesel fuel. Yeah. Yes. It's probably mosaic uh, hops. There is mosaic hops. Equanot, Simcoe, Citra, and mosaic. Cryo hops. But uh, regular hops, Equanot, Mandarina, Bavaria, and Cascade. Equanot also give uh, a, a notes which I uh, describe as a uh sunflower seeds oil yes yes like you know uh a bit popcorn yeah like a popcorny grainy but mixed with some spicy lemon Do yeah yeah it? it's it's citrusy yeah definitely but i that's a new one for me diesel fumes and diesel it's just fuel, one yeah. of these like it pops in your mind diesel fuel I'm gonna say it's thirsty, yeah. Thirsty work. Uh it's very warm. It's mm. not really not Welsh weather. There is something like Welsh weather, or like English weather. Normally 10 degrees cooler, 20 in the summer. It's 30 degrees. And I don't know, you can probably see I'm <laughs> warm, but that is perfect, isn't it? Yeah. This is um throw some vegetables it's, on the barbecue. It's a trend in the UK to brew such a light beer. 2.8 um, because uh, when I started uh, in, uh, interesting in beer drinking beer for 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 uh, you know uh, 
not only to get uh, drunk, but yeah. only to but to taste, taste something. I uh, I was surprised that a surprise or not surprised, but I think about English or British um, breweries and beers like very low alcohol beers mm. like bitter uh, two to three ABV yes. percent uh, mild stouts yeah. four percent ABV best bitters best bitters yeah uh, there are a lot of very low alcohol beer uh, yeah as we see at uh, this uh, beers we buy bought, bought uh, mm. there's a lot of strong beers yes Craft beer is more uh, known for strong beers, yes? Yes, yes mo most definitely. I would say, on average, um, a lot of the breweries brew something like 6% upwards. IPAs, uh, then, then your stouts are 8%. But I, I'm, I like a beer at 4. Point, I think 4.5 to 5 is my personal... Just to drink a beer, just to, just to enjoy a beer, and to session a beer. Mm -hmm. Because I think... Uh, with, with a beer at 7%, 8%, you, if you, you would drink all of them and it would be impossible, wouldn't it? To, 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 do, you, do you think five or six beers at 7%? Yeah, it's, it, uh, it's after tough. four. Is... <laughs> yeah, but it's good. We can share them. What I like about these cans, these 500 cans, is, is the fact that we can share. Yeah. We, we went to the shop, purchased the beer. It was great to share. Another interesting thing, that all beers which we chose were in cans. Not, yes. in, not in bottles. Yes, yes. Every, and it's only when we brought them back here, we realized we bought all canned beer. All canned beer. So, Crown Beer in UK is going cans, yeah? I, I remember when yeah. more uh, started canning, it was a big thing. Yeah. It was three years ago, two years ago. And now everyone is canning. Everyone. And Northern Monk is uh, also started with cans at the beginning, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It, it was not usual, not typical. Now everyone now, is canning. And they're all five hundreds, all big or four hundreds. Okay. This is the and and I would say Cloudwater were the people who really started the four forty five hundred mil. They call them tall boys. Tall boys. Tall boys. It's four forty. Uh, yeah, five, 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 five hundred milliliters. So in Poland, is in contrast, uh, in contrast that uh, um, I think that craft beer will be, if there will be in cans, it will be in small cans, in three, three thirty. Yeah, uh, because uh, all big uh, players, big uh, multinational uh, companies like Heineken, Carlsberg, yeah. or uh, Asahi now. Yeah. Now Asahi is the biggest player in Poland. It really is. Yeah, it? because they uh, acquired uh, the uh, Central European uh, uh, Sub Miller. Okay, part, yeah? right. Okay, okay. Sab Miller. So uh, it, it, half a liter is typical for mass-produced beer. Yes. Crappy lager. Uh, you buy four packs or six packs oh, or cans. Same as same as here. Yeah. So what crap the idea is? The craft brewers are saying we'll put it in the same packaging, maybe because it's cheaper to buy these cans mm -hmm. in bulk, mm -hmm. and then we'll go. We'll we'll go head to head. We'll challenge you. Only Beaver Town have stayed in three thirty. Only Beaver Town, so you know, uh -huh. small cans. Everybody else has really moved over to the five hundred mil, five hundred mil can. Beaver Town, uh, another hot uh, topic uh, in UK because they uh, Heineken invested in in the brewery by how many shares? It, it's, they don't. No, know. they don't say. They don't say how many. Only the only word they use was minority. Minority. Okay. Minority. Could Forty-nine. Be, uh, exactly. <laughs> Forty-nine point exactly. nine. Forty-nine point nine percent could be minority stake in Beaver Town, but they accepted forty million pounds. Very, very nice uh, design, yeah? I like it. What I'd like to ask you, Tomek, um, drinking a whole night of canned craft beer, at the end of the reviews of all six beers, seven beers, I'd like you to say if you feel craft beer is fresher in cans rather than bottle, but only after you've drunk so many, just to go, it's... it's Cleaner. It's. I I had a I had a, um, a small talk with a guy in Australia, in uh, Hawkers Brewery. Uh, he he's uh, origin originally from Lebanon. 
right. but living now in uh, Australia, has a brewery, and um, he puts something like 40 or 30 percent of uh, probably f uh, 40 to 50 uh, production in cans. Okay, but he said, I'm doing it only that reason that uh, market demands cans because cans are. Uh, Practical, yeah, yeah. It's light, no diacid, no, uh, no light strike, no light strike. But it's light. It's it's not broke, yeah. like uh, you know, like glass. glass. glass um, and market demands because he said, I don't trust that uh, you know this uh, cover coat uh, inside. Oh yeah, yeah. I it's know. so safe. Yeah. Um, he said, glass is glass. Yeah. So he was against uh, he was against um, cans. That maybe a little aluminium taste. Do you think? Do, do no, I, I think it's not true. Uh, if, only if you drink straight from straight the can. from the can. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what's your what's yeah, your what drink? Saying? What's your uh, s uh, Stone writing cross. here? Stone the cross. <laughs> yeah. So, what's your opinion about this beer? I really like it as a really as like a it. low alcohol beer because yeah. it's not so low alcohol. It's 2.8. Yeah. Uh, what about uh, no alcohol beer or, or alcohol free beer in craft beer? Uh, I know Nanny State from Brewdog. Yeah. And the other craft beers, uh, craft brewers going to brew alcohol free beers? Only only if you go to the supermarket, mm -hmm. Tesco's, Morrison's, yeah. you, you get you get Nanny State. I've not seen any other low alcohol beer. And I've only tried Nanny State because I like. I'll be honest. I, I I don't want to get drunk, but I like the feeling a little bit. You know, but ah, it's not, yeah. it's not the reason. I don't see the point. You, you like to be tipsy. Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't like these low alcohol beers really. What would you do? You like? Do you I like. like I like uh, uh, especially when I have to do something later. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah because uh, there is a um, proverb we can say in in Polish that. Uh, it will be it will be hard to translate, but I tried. I must uh, I must uh... really good, really lovely, lovely beer. And this is I've mentioned this quite a bit on my channel before. In that you can have a bit of a let's be fair. We we travelled two hours in in the car. We come back. This is the perfect gentle starting beer it's not too high in the alcohol um we're almost ready for the next beer now do, mm -hmm. do you know what i mean mm -hmm. so let's grab it which one which one uh, shark grab? shark let's get the shark so what i want to say uh polish proverb yeah piwo jest napojem chłodzącym zapał do pracy i try to translate it to simon uh beer is cooling drink yeah but cooling enthusiasm to work. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> After beer, uh, no, <laughs> tomorrow. <it's> tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Even shark need water. Uh, even sharks need water. Uh, I like it because uh, my uh, my uh, extremely hoped uh, sunny ale shark was. Uh, my second beer brewed with Vidava yeah, still is brewing. We still, yeah. uh, Vidava is still brewing this beer uh, once a month uh, usually. So uh, yeah, I, I, I have a sentiment for Shark and for this uh, this beer. So variant. Uh, where, where 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 this brewer comes from? The Fall boat, Cornwall. 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 Cornwall is where? Um, I would say an hour or two north, west of Bristol. West. So. But the west of Bristol is Wales. No, that's north. Br Wales is around the corner. We we have to go across a, a bridge. Yeah. But um, it, it's down the coast. You know. The, ah, the okay, okay, down okay, into, okay, 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 okay. It's get down. It. But we're all uh, lots of uh, tourists. It, it's a holiday, holidaying place. Let me clean your glass. Thank you. Southwest of Bristol. Okay. Three oh, hours from Bristol. It's three hours. All oh, right. Okay. Now I'm really interested. Um, this is Tomek's first verdant beer. Yeah. Um, in the UK, we've gone from I would say Kernel being popular, 
Then it went over to Siren being Bam, popular. Beaver, then it went to Beaver. It bounces around popularity of breweries. So it was Cloudwater, mm -hmm. and now very quickly it's gone over to Verdant. Everybody Ver wants Verdant to... is more trendy now than Cloudwater. Yes, yeah? I, I would say so. I would say so. And and a lot of people are really enjoying their beer. So I'm interested to see what you think of this beer. Okay, uh, even sharks need water. Um, grains, extra pale, wheat, caramel, flaked barley, oats, hops, Citra, Galaxy, Nelson, Sauvignon. It's really hard to get Nelson Sauvignon uh, nowadays. It's New Zealand hop. Uh, East, the London Ale Tree. Uh, murky, thick, juicy and chewy. It's like a packet of sherbet sweets drenched in tangy fruit. Tangy or tangy? Tangy. Tangy, yeah. Tangy fruit layers cuddled by a comforting bready hug. Bready? No, it sounds <laughs> bad. <laughs> Soft to drink with a slight creamy texture and medium dry finish. It's tough to stop drinking it. Okay. I can S believe it. <laughs> drink fresh. Oops. Fade fast. Uh, this is the um, some kind of sign of many breweries. Yes. Uses. Yes. It's it's a bit like the international in America, the international uh, independent craft brewers. Mm -hmm. So the Hoppy Brewer Brewery will in UK from, in the UK. Yeah. Okay, stick it on their can. Uh, this is uh, this is something to um, to maybe to in, introduce in Poland. Yeah, I to, think so. to enhance people to drink quickly as fa as fresh on on some beer because this beer you can store for months. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. this beer. In, 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 in each week will be w worse yes, and worse. worse. Okay, thank you. Maybe uh, higher, higher, higher. Oh yeah. So lots of yeah, breweries. really, really, hop uh, really uh, oats. Lots of oats. Lots of oats. Yeah. Oats. Look at that guy. Really murky. Yeah. Yeah. Terrific. It's um, like it's more. Probably more yeasty or more uh, hazy than uh, Heaven Yes, yes, most definitely. But I'm hoping it's. I, I've not had this beer. I've had like, the, most of the other Verdun beers, but not this one. But second can and second with a sticky label. Yes, not, yes. Not. Uh, oh, painted. Wait, not not no no not painted on. It's it's just a wrap. They call it a wrap in the UK. No, wrap is wrap is uh, uh, wrap is not uh, plastic. They call this like sleeve. Pink sleeve, sleeve. sleeve. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So yeah, nice dense creamy head, hazy light coloured ale aroma. I mean, maybe it's, it's hiding. Not a bit. bad, not but it might be impressive. hiding a bit beneath. Uh. I, I must this. I must say it's a bit like old hops. Yeah, may, what's the date? A bit cheesy. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, it's uh, packaged 11th of, 11 of June. Uh, June. So, so it's, it's one month. Well, well, Not yeah. bad. Okay. Let's, Let's try. take a sip. Cheers. Mmm. Very juicy. Ah, oh, that's lovely. It's the density for me. It's the yeah. real. Oh, but it's all hidden. It's all hidden in in the glass. It's it wasn't kind of thrown but me around. I I I I like it. Mm. I like it. Um, very rounded. Very soft. Mm. Very oaty. Oaty. It's, yeah. When you make a bowl of oats, you get that creaminess in the pan. It's like it's like it's in the glass. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's it's really juicy. It's really juicy, like uh, a lot of uh, uh, fruits um, uh, parts. It's um, it's yeah. I'm getting a lot of it's it, like they said. It's almost bready though as well, isn't it? It's oaty and bready, but then. But I I say that at uh, for a six point five I feel alcohol. Yes, yes, most yeah. definitely. For nine, I can't. Uh, I, I I wouldn't mention it that I feel alcohol if there will be nine. But it's for six point five. It's, it's too prominent in in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Um, I'm. You know, I'm. 
it's very, it's really juicy and fruity. Yeah, tex it's, texture. Texture is uh, definitely very, very fruity. Very. But I'm finding it quite difficult to pinpoint a fruit. If you had to choose which, it's tropical, but yeah. which fruits? It's mm -hmm. almost like it's a push of. Bunch of fruits. Mm. Garlic. Maybe some garlic. Garlic? Yeah. Do you think? Just a touch. Just a... If you think... I don't think so. No? Mm. I'm trying... Try sometimes sometimes uh, when you feel garlic or uh, onion, it means that the uh, hops were harvested too, too, la uh, too late. Okay. Okay. But I can feel it here. Maybe if I'm really pushing for fruits, I'd say mango. Do you think some mango, Could some be. orange, but mixed together? It's like you put them in a blender and you mm. blended it all. Yeah, it's and, hard to pin. And, and drink with the parts of fruit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so it's, actually, it's really creamy. Hmm. If I well, ask the you, creaminess is from oats. The oats, yeah. I think the oats, the oats do it. Um, verdant are, are, are very. They really like to put their oats in the beer, but if I if I asked you to name five fruits in this beer, it's quite difficult, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite. Maybe some orange, some tangerine, but it's pushing it, isn't it? It's really you're really having to work your brain, and sometimes beers can you go ah, grapefruit, pine. But it, it, it's you're having to really think about it, isn't you? Really, and I think it's a blend. It's a blend of fruits. Texture, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is the English uh, English uh, word for this? Texture. Mouth. Mouthfeel. 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 But texture, you understand? It's in English. Yeah, texture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The texture. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Texture. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to rate this one because I'm. I really wanted. Kent the beer reviews. Oh yeah, yeah. How are we doing? Kent beer reviews. How are we doing? Uh, mouthfeel is great in this beer. The mouthfeel is great. I'm struggling to actually pick out the fruit flavors. I know it's a really good beer. But I, I, I don't. Really I don't that. like uh, too sweet New England's, mm. Uh, mm. and it's not too sweet. No, it's full no. about it. It's mm. full, full, juicy, or creamy, but not sweet. Yeah. Not too sweet. Mm. I would give it an eight, I would think. Eight out of ten. I don't give the points. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no problem. No problem. But good beer. But aroma could be more prominent. And do you think that's got something to do with the fact that we couldn't pull, we couldn't find, like, an orange or grapefruit? Because it was all kind of mashed and blended together. Do you think that's... Generally, if... Uh... If you can't pick the uh, individual, fruits. individual fruits, it's good. It means it, it's well uh, rounded, balanced, and so on. Yeah, so. Hmm. <sighs> Simon will try prunum, of course, but maybe not today. Maybe Simon record uh, separate video. Yes. Yes, I got Tomek. I got a real. I might as well release this to you guys. Um, please look out for it on Tomek's channel. Um, I've given him a nice bottle of Thomas Hardy's ale, and um, yeah, it's amazing. I've asked him to review it here in the kitchen on his channel. So look out for that one. That's England's or Britain's rarest, rarest beer. The Austria. Oh yeah, first May nineteen. 78. Before I was born. It's one year before I was born. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's one of the famous beer. Uh, Michael Jackson uh, write about, uh, wrote about this beer. It's uh, it's old ale? It's an old barley ale. wine. Barley wine. It's a barley wine, 10%. Yeah, I, it, will be, it will be amazing to try it. Yeah, I, 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 I'm going to record the video here in, in the kitchen. In, in the kitchen, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's amazing. One hundred eighty milliliters, 
Uh, 40 40 years old. 40 years old. It's incredible, yeah. 40 year old beer. So that's coming up on Tomek's channel. Have a look at that one. Will will be one of the... I've tried uh, one uh, a guest from... uh, What was the name of this... Uh, Brewery, um, some lambic from 1960s, something like that. Okay, uh, but this will be the second one, the oldest, the second yeah. oldest uh, beer on my channel. Fantastic, um, uh, yeah, fantastic. Thank you to all the public. Uh, Simon already record the uh, review about this, yes. Beer, so, you, you, so you can find uh, on his channel, uh, Hardy's Ale. We have a candle in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Hardest ale, uh, hardest ale, uh, but you have the order. Oh, right, yeah, 74. 74. But mine was laid down. Can you see? Because it was laid down, it was, see, the, the back on yours is okay. This one, you can't read the writing, because it was it was obviously stored mm-hmm, like this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. June 70. Do not open before June 1978. It's amazing. So mine's a candle holder now. <laughs> Uh, so so Simon uh, Simon already tried it. Uh, I yeah. but I must say that I'm really impressed for such a gift because this is different beer. It's, oh, be fantastic! I was I was thinking that it was two the same uh, batches, but the, no, it's a different. different. Batch. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. how you get it? Um, I was working in a house and I was it was and the, you stole it. <laughs> <laughs> And we were talking, and I said, I, I do stuff with video. And he said, oh, I do stuff with video as well. He said, I put stuff about trains on YouTube. What? Trains. Ah, trains. Like, like recording. Jemek is a, a great fan of trains. Yeah. Yeah, so he was recording the trains. And um, he said to me, um, what you said, I said, beer. I, I, yeah. And he said, oh, I've given these. But I, he said, I don't drink beer. So I have these. He said, I don't know what they are. Have, and I went, oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll have them off you and I went running running down the road with them. <laughs> so I, 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 I'm going to record a video here and uh, yeah, post it on your half, channel. Half of a bottle will be for Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. And there's another beer which no ABV, same brewery, no ABV. Uh, it's a mystery beer. We uh, each each of bottles are uh, is numbered. Yeah. There is 24,000 bottle. Yeah. At the end of the live stream, we drink yeah. it. <laughs> <Like that. laughs> yeah. But this is a mystery, complete mystery. No alcohol by volume. It's made by Thomas Hardy. Complete mystery. And we don't know even the year. Nothing. No. But it, it must have been in the 70s because the brewery closed in the 1970s. So it must be from 1970. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Must must be. I, well, well, what's the Eldridge Pope in there? The brewery. Yeah. Yeah. I know, but uh, uh, another brewery uh, is uh, brewing uh, this Hardy's Ale. Now, but I think they've changed the. I think. But, made... but they're still brewing this brand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I think the clue is, it must be from the seventies because it's the same type of bottle. Yeah. Yeah. The same size. The same. Uh, Kind yeah. of uh, label, the same kind of uh, how you call it? Uh, foil, foil, foil wrap. Yeah. Okay, next beer. Uh, next beer. beer. Which one would you like, uh, I don't know. Should I try a hot Loki Coke? Uh, no, no. Um... Uh, recording in the kitchen has uh, many, <laughs> many pros. You wanted to put these two together, didn't you? Uh, but on the other hand, this is farmhouse ale, so maybe stay uh, with, the end, with, yeah. with IPAs. But my question, Simon, is how your family is uh, living with you, that you are recording each day video in yeah. in, in kitchen and, in, and, and they sh- can't eat <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah they get drinks they get their food the snacks and um then they go and it becomes a studio <laughs> but it's a working kitchen we cook we make toast we make cups so of the coffee. main problem is each time 
you yeah. have to clean clean, clean the up. kitchen. So and this, this is the deal. This is the deal. Oh, Tonic, this is fabulous. Oh, first thank donate. You. Oh my goodness, thank you. This is first ever. donate of first Simon ever. Simon ever. Simon was thinking that he can't uh, he can't uh, um, turn on this uh, the, the super option. Chat. Yeah, that is absolutely fantastic. Thank you very very much. Five pounds. That's oh, wonderful. You've paid for this beer. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's really nice. Really, really nice. You. This is a Welsh brewery, uh, Locker Poly. Everyone's talking about it. Um, Citra Equinot India Pale Ale. But we have another beer, Citra Equinot. No, not Citra, but Equinot Simcoe. Simcoe. From Simcoe. Cloudwater. Similar. 7% ABV. Uh, I could cl clean your glass. Oh, okay. uh, India Pale Ale, Citra Equinot Extra Pale, Naked Oat. Naked oats, so it means uh, raw oats, I think. Yeah. Or maybe without uh, husk, or I don't know. Carapils. We brew fresh, modern, seasonal beers inside Polis Old Stable in Mold, North Wales. Fantastic. Okay. Let's get it out. You, you tried some beer from this brew? No, this is, is my first, first time. First time, yeah. yeah. How many brewers is in Wales now? That's a very good question. <laughs> That's a very good I don't know. I don't know. That's a very good question. Probably 50, I'd say. 50? Mm, only 50? Maybe only 50. In the UK, it's something like 2,000, yeah? Yeah. Am I wrong? I mean, it might be some... I think Charles Dunn is from Wales. I think, Charles, you may know the answer to this. Hello, Morden. How are you doing, Morden? That's Carl. Um, how many brews are in, in Wales? Uh, we had some problems. Uh, we had um, Otley. Have you heard of Otley Brewery? They went uh, bankrupt. Uh, of Otley, course. they um, Otley Brewing Company. They made uh, Black IP Oxymoron. Yes, they finished. They finished. It's last a pity. Year. Yeah, um, I, I tried the beer at the European Beer Bloggers Conference in probably in Leeds. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah, they no more, no more. They finished. Mm. That's a pity. A few, a few of, of uh, yeah. But two thousand breweries in UK. The second uh, biggest uh, number in uh, in the world after the US. Really? Yeah, well, I didn't know that. In US, there is uh, something like six thousand. Then two thousand in UK. Two thousand UK, but uh, in uh, Poland must be. Try Poland. to guess who could be at the third. Poland. No, in Poland we have only three hundred brewers. Three hundred. Really? Yeah. So try to guess who could be because I'm not sure if it, there's. Oh, 10 pounds. Oh my goodness me. This is I this oh, this is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Thank you. I don't know what to say. No, 10 euro. 10 euros. I, I I don't know what to say. This I'm very humbled. Thank you very much. What do you normally say when you when somebody donates to the channel? That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very, very much. Very much. Um I'm so, not for words. I'm not so, for words. so uh, going back to our conversation, we, what could be the third country with the most number of breweries? I'd say two guesses: Czech Republic or Germany. Czech Republic definitely not because it's a small country. Okay, it's four times smaller than Poland. Oh, right. Okay, still have more breweries. Yeah, but it's more like four hundred or five hundred. Yeah, but I've judged at the World Beer Cup. With a, a brewer, a woman, yeah, from France, and he, she said that in France there is one thousand six hundred breweries. But you wouldn't think it, would you? France, That's amazing. You, you wouldn't think it because it must be like um, ah, very good. Is it I, IPA? A bit. Back. We're back. We're back. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure what happened there. We've we've ethernetted. So, um, France. We were talking about France, weren't we? France, then, but, uh, but going to this. Beer. Yeah, going a, a bit thirsty. Yeah. Yeah. Six, <laughs> did you say six point five or seven? Seven percent ABV. Three point one UK units. What's going on? Here we have some problems with the internet. It's strange because we're we on ethernet. Um, We have some uh, issues with the uh, uh, internet connection, but hopefully we're back. We're back. It's and not, we, and we have a fly. Yeah, we have a fly <laughs> buzzing around in the kitchen. So uh, 
It smells really good. Really lovely. But also a bit alcoholic. Yes. In aroma. Yes, yes. Most definitely. Yeah, like like booze. Boozy. It is it is quite boozy. Like vodka. <laughs> and again, I get a little bit of that. This is a new one for me now. Diesel. Maybe a little bit of diesel, do you think? But for me, uh, at the first place is, uh, of course, some fruits, but alcohol. Yes. Yes, most definitely. Let's taste. I think let's taste. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Nastravia. Is that right? Mar Marco uh, wrote that uh, it's too many viewers and your internet is not used. <laughs> Send some money. Somebody wrote, Send some money for better internet. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. I like that. You have, very, very, you, you have very good ratio between uh, viewers and the thumbs up. The, the thumb I, can't, I can't usually uh, have more thumbs than the five, 50%. You have almost. Almost. Uh, Give us a thumbs up. Three guys. Thumbs up. Thank three, you very three much. Fourths, three fours. So. Next ten as Lotich. That's amazing. Is there be next? Call me Simon. Um, call me Simon um, with Pinter. That would be fantastic. I was going to ask you in the car, but as we're here, as we're talking about it, when was the last time Call me Simon was brewed in Poland in with Pinter? Do you know the year? What do you think about it? I'll grab a bottle because I have one here. Vintage. Oh, uh, yeah, you have empty bottle. No. Full. No, I, this is my collection. This is Pinter. Call me Simon. Call me Simon. Uh, Imperial Irish Red Ale. There's the second batch, yes? Simon says it or was two first years. batch. This is the original first batch. First batch. And yeah. second batch was different style. What was? Um, oh, um, 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 uh, it never went into bottle, but it was um, ah. an imperial bitter. It was like a really, but it was really. And malty. it was, and it was uh, barrel aged. One, one barrel. barrel aged, barrel aged. But somebody says five two, pounds two years ago. Oh, thank you for this is unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. Thank you very much, guys. It's not. It knocks you off your rhythm, doesn't it? Because you're like. Oh my goodness, it's so humbling, so absolutely, absolutely humbling. Is that right, Tom? The last time this beer was brewed was two years ago. Two years ago. No, no, right? This one was probably, two, this one was, uh, uh, Simon, four years ago. Yes, I'm going to keep this forever. I'm not going to ever open this beer. I have Annabelle as well, Annabelle IPA. Annabelle from Dr. Yeah. Brew. Yeah. Uh, and Molly IPA, it's also for, for your daughter. Molly IPA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The other one, yeah. Um, what I want to say that uh, if you are uh, if if you are not subscribing for um, uh, Simon's channel, Real Ale Crab Beer, you know what to do. Thank Subscribe you. and uh, click the bell. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tomek. Uh, you've been a good friend. Uh, let's let's go back to it. Um, I want to talk about Tomek for a moment now. Oh my goodness me. <coughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you very More much. More comments reading, please. Okay, we will especially do. when uh, someone is <laughs> donating. <laughs> yeah, we we're, we're trying to 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 read. First batch of Call Me Simon was my first scrap beer ever. Oh, wow, oh, fantastic! Uh, Simon, are you going for this year's London Craft Beer Festival? Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe try and get down artisan will be there. Yeah, oh, bro, oh, artisan. Artisan. Um, what's the gentleman's name? Gentleman's name from Artisan. The brilliant guy. Really happy, jokey. With uh, grey hair, hair and yeah. the glasses. Yes. yes. Uh, it's uh, Jacek. Jacek. Amazing. He's such a lovely guy. We dance. and <laughs> But I want to talk about, um, we'll get to the comments in a moment, but I want to talk about where we kind of met. Tomek sent me a batch of, oh, first of all, let me go back to the start. I went onto Beers of Europe's website, and I look. I always look at world beer, not just British beer. But I look at the whole world, and I seen that there was this Polish beer, and I thought that's really interesting. Let's have it for this month's review. So I reviewed it. Uh, Tomek, it was Kozlak Amber. Kozlak Amber beer, yeah, Kozlak Amber. Uh, Tomek 
Um, and there, in... there, there were some, uh, some uh, this way that you put uh, um, some words from the label or from the bottle because it was painted uh, bottle. Yeah. You uh, take some words which was something like you know uh, established or uh, or recipe or something like yeah. that, and you use it as a name of the brewery. Oh right. <laughs> Okay, so so I made and I and I yeah. wrote uh, a uh, message to to Simon. I was uh, in in that times. I have a much smaller channel. Than you. That's incredible. It was incredible. probably you have you had something like five thousand. I have probably something like three thousand. And I I was uh, uh, writing to some big YouTube <laughs> player and uh, and uh, and I um, asked that. Um, you know, uh, okay, Koźla Amber is not as the the worst beer from Poland, but it's not definitely yeah. the best. Yeah, yeah. So maybe I can send you some it, yeah. uh, better craft beers. And they came in November of 2013. November 2013, they arrived. Uh, it was Pinter's uh, Zaitorillo. Zitorillo. 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 Zito means right. Rye IPA, blah, 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 rye, rye black IPA, black IPA, and it was terrific. I loved it, and then it went from there. Um, yeah, yeah everything started with that, yeah. with with your with your uh, tasting of uh, Kozla Gamba. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, it all started with Kozla Gamba, and so so yeah. Um, I I spoke to uh, Jemek from the brewery Pinter. Uh, we went over. I met Tomek. Uh, uh, yeah, because you you write to Pinta to brew a collaborative. We brew. brewed a collaborative. I had the offer from from they would bring you fly you over. You or, don't you, you don't uh, hesitate to write to Polish brewer. Well, maybe we <laughs> brew some collaborative. Brew. Yeah, yeah, we did it. Okay, why not? <laughs> and that's call me Simon in 2014 start. Yes, 2014, four years ago, um, and it was wonderful. Absolutely. Wonderful. We had a great time. Um, brewed that wonderful beer. And me and Tomic's friendship, we, we've known each other now for nearly, well, over four and a half years now. Four yeah. and a half years. So, so five, three, five. Five but years. We'll, so we'll be five. Friendship. And that's, the, that's what beer is all about. Beer connecting right? people. Beer, <laughs> beer connecting people. So going back to this beer, um, what do you think? For me, it's hot. Mm. Hot bitterness uh, from hops, probably. Mm. Maybe also from alcohol, but it uh, harsh my throat. Yes, it, it's one of these. Um, even when having a drinking it, having a conversation, the beer's in the back of your mind, isn't it? it it's like it, it's not something you can. Because sometimes you just want to. It's it's harsh. Yeah, it's it's harsh. harsh. It's it's quite harsh. It is quite harsh. Maybe maybe it needs maybe. A little bit of aging. What's gone wrong in this beer, Tomek? Do you think? What do they need to do to make it better? Uh, I think uh, it's hard with the New England IPA, uh, but they have to throw some hops. Um, uh, they need some time to mm. settle this hops yeah. down. Yeah. Remove it because it's too much hops in this beer, which mm. are. Uh, you know, uh, hot in a trout. Yeah? Like West, West Coast. No, think? no, it's not a problem because there are particles of hops. Mm -hmm. okay. Small particles of hops which burn your throat. Right. Because it's unclear. Okay. I get it. But it's too much small particles of hops which are unpleasant. Right. Got you. I got you. Ah, yeah, that's one for you. Um, Norway to Poland for the first time. So we're nice. Uh, oh, the com that, comments in Poland. Uh, uh, Tomasz is complaining as always. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I, I'm uh, writing, uh, reading, I'm reading a book uh, about um, Goose Island. Right, yeah. And uh, there is a story uh, when uh, one of the... Uh, Co-owners and uh, brewer of uh, of um, um, Goose Island, Greg uh, Hale, 
uh, was uh, at the uh, Michael Jackson tastings. Right, okay. And they said there will be 10 beers, but they were only nine. From Goose Island? No, from this tasting. Right, okay, okay. Right, with Michael yeah, Jackson. Yeah. And he came to Michael Jackson and asked, what about the 10th beer? Yeah. And Michael Jackson said to him that, I tried this beer before, it was okay, Yeah. but today it's not okay. Right. So uh, he asked, so why you don't give us this beer and tell us what is wrong with this beer? Right. And Michael Jackson said, because my job is doing is uh, speaking, writing, generally giving message about what is good in beer, right. not what is bad. Right. And I okay. totally agree. Mm. I totally agree. I always try to find what is good. Yeah. Uh, not to um, you know hate beer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. this is crap. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm with you on that. I'm with you. I'm but to be still, yeah. this is hot in the throat. It's not. It's it's too fresh. Probably too fresh. Yeah. Maybe. Just maybe a, a few days. Few maybe days. two days yeah. uh, of uh, you know. Um, I have a suggestion. Sedimenting these hops will be good. When I went to Norway, they told me if a beer tastes this way a little bit. Maybe leave it on the side. Don't put it in the fridge. Leave it on the side for two days, and it'll clear it out. Is is this maybe in a bottle? In, in the it was in it was a kind of stig baguettes muddle in a bottle, and he said, "But I'm talking differently now because this this muddle had a touch of diacetyl." Ah, diacetyl is a different yeah, way. Because it's yeah. bottle conditions, leave it. To yeah, yeah, fully, yeah. Because fully. because if it it, it if it has a uh, live yeast, yeah, the yeast can uh, reduce the diacetyl. Right. Yeah, it's true. It's true, but not uh, with this. Yeah, yeah of course. Too hot. No, no, I think what would what could help with this beer if you put it in the fridge for two weeks. Yeah. And try to pour it without sediment. Yeah. Of course, it will be not so hazy, but of course, not so hot, hot. Yeah. on the throat. I got you. Learn something today. Learn something. I'm happy with that. Simon, how popular is the home brewing in the UK? Um, I would say more, as Tom had mentioned earlier, there's 2,000 breweries in the UK. I, I think it's buying beer, using untapped, sharing, going out. I think that's more popular than home brewing. In the UK, but I understand uh, um, there's a country uh, beginning with L. Uh, not, not country with L. Uh, um, Liechtenstein. Yes, <laughs> listen, listen, and there's a massive home brewing scene there. More, there's more, four times more home brewing than breweries in Lithuania. Lithuania, is that right? Massive, massive. In Poland, beer. you have at least ten times more. Uh, really? Wow. Ten times more. Oh, no. Wow. In Poland, you have one hundred more times home brewers than craft brewers. Wow, that's incredible. Because we have something like three hundred brewers, maybe one hundred uh, contract brewers. What well, is four hundred? And for sure, we have more than four. 50,000 home brewers in Poland, for sure. That's incredible. That's incredible. So, yeah, it's 100. But this is this is the uh, reason why our craft beer scene is uh, developing so fast because we have a lot of uh, home brewers, good home brewers. Okay, uh, there's uh, uh, there were uh, there were uh, Daniel. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, how how you? Oh, um, yeah. Um, Ten zloty. Thank you. Thank you very um, much. Like, like this, Tommy. Just ah, like, like, like this. this. Okay. Rot, mm. rot, 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 rot. I think the affinity for the New England IPAs depends on your preference. Here in the US, many do have a little bit of the throat scratching. I agree. I, I, I uh, tried uh, some beer in... Um, Bearded Iris in 
Nashville. Great, great aroma, great flavor, but really harsh. Yeah. <clears throat> and of course, I could say, <laughs> <laughs> I could say, I could say that. Uh, Third beer, making a mess. <laughs> uh, I could say that, okay, th this is the cost of a uh, really fresh New England IPA. But on the other hand, I've seen there whole pint, leave it, because someone try it. Oh shit, no, I, I can't drink it because mm -hmm. it's full. It, so harsh. I, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, so. Uh, Somebody said about New Zealand up there with the amount of brewers. Oh, Rod said the beer that Irish good brewery doing some good things. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yes. But uh, the level of the scratching in my throat was too, too high. high. Yeah. Your dog is dog. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get it. He wants some beer. He, do you know my dog? I reckon is drunk, as as tasted, not drunk. Every single beer I review, I put my finger in the glass and I, I let him taste. So he knows saison, black IPA. I know one brewer. <laughs> I know one brewer. Yeah. We were talking, uh, drinking some beer, and his wife came with his uh, infant child. Yeah. And he. Put the, and give to his kid. <laughs> yeah. He must try train his palate. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit shocked. <laughs> right, we have. Um, I think we got some stouts. Uh, uh, we have we have cloud beer. water. Cloud water, that's it. That's because it. that was Equanot Citra, and we have Equanot Simcoe. Ford beer. Beer full. Look at this. I'll, I'll wash the glasses. You cut the beer open. Cloud water. IPA Equanot Simco 6.5. So it's a bit lighter than the uh, Loca Poli. This IPA features new seasonal Equanot in the dry hop backed up by Simco. We fermented with WLP095 yeast for stone fruits stone fruit esters and used flake oats and wheat in the mold bill for body and texture. Equanot Simco and Mosaic, which was not mentioned in the description. Um, okay. I got a question before we open this beer. That's a question to you, Tom. Are we, and I always find it um, pulling in different directions. This beer is a permanent beer from Vedant. If you did a review of this, you would write the heading, you'd write the name of the beer. And if somebody bought that beer in four months' time, they would they could find it on YouTube and watch it. I'm a little bit... Um, but they give only two, three months uh, best before. So yeah. it's good. No, because but, many breweries... With the IPAs, give one year. One year, yeah. Because distributor expect this. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. But my, my question to, to you is, because YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. What? It, YouTube is the second largest search engine behind Google. Uh-huh. In the world. Search engine. Okay. This I, I haven't understood this. I find, and um, I'd like your opinion on this, I find Cloudwater slightly frustrating because... They make phenomenal, fantastic beer, but nobody looks at my Cloudwater version three double IPA mm -hmm. because it, they make the beer once and once only, and then you can never find it again. Okay, it's difficult for search. Do you know, do you know what I mean? This you can find six but, months. But yeah. on, the other, on the other hand, this is good strategy. You have to drink it now. It, exactly. I because, and we brew, they move on to the next beer. So they have no core range. So, no so core on the range. other hand, when someone from the first few uh, beers from the batch say, oh, wow, it's great. Mm. Everyone run to the shop and grab it because it's only the only chance. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. On the other hand, the question is how often you can uh, brew different beer. Exactly. 
Mix you you right. must yeah, yeah. Uh, repeat in some way. A core range. I think you have Yeah, I know, a... I know they, they don't have core range, but you can't brew each batch completely different. There will be no. similar. Just slight, little slight. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's drink. Let's try. My wife can drink this, it's vegan friendly. Uh, in many of this, uh, this is vegan friendly. Um, this not, uh, which in UK it's not so. Uh, this vegan thing is massive. Uh, yeah, but on the other hand, it's not so uh, unusual because mm. traditional uh, breweries use uh, mm, icing glass. Yeah. For a uh, clarifying beer, yeah, and it's made from um, fish, fish eyes, fish eyes, no fish oh, eyes, fish, fish, fish uh, the guts. How to say it? I have problem. Niech ktoś sprawdzi. But and then another brew. Oh, the bladder. Yeah, bladder. But and then some use uh, seaweed. Seaweed, yeah. Yeah. But seaweed, uh, um, seaweed uh, works in different way, a okay. bit different way. So I'm seeing quite similar. I mean, these two, these two are very friendly brewers, but they're very much in competition. They look, they look. You can see where the dance come from. I think they've not copied Cloud Water, but they've taken on their style of beers. It's a uh, brood first, first, uh, 17, uh, uh, 17 July. So it's really fresh. It's no, it's impossible. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, it's best before the 22 uh, May. First, FFB. What, is, what does it mean? Fresh, fresh. Uh, uh, best before is uh, 11th uh, September. The ninth, yeah. Oh, zobaczcie. Uh, take a take a look. Uh, at the at the at the top, you have a um, production or or maybe canning day. There is a first for. Not so. Uh, it's up here, I think. It's yeah, I know, but the, there is okay. not very sharp. Let me try and turn. Oh. Okay. No. Uh, so uh, there are three dates. First is uh, canning day. There is fresh, fresh FFB. What? What does it mean? Yeah, I, uh, after I will have to Google it. We'll have to Google it. FFB. And then it's best before. Oh, we'll ask the, we'll ask the audience. FFB on the bottom of Cloud Waters cans. What does that mean, guys? Comment in the comments. And uh, I think it's uh, oxidated. Okay. It's from May and it's malty, caramelly. Mm, it's not great, is it? It's got a. Um... It's not very fresh. Almost, It almost smells a bit like a Saison. Do you think maybe like Saison? Oh, Jean. Cheers, Jean. Jean? From Barcelona. Oh, GJ! I was in I was in Barcelona in March. I met him, shook his hand. He has a beard now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, almost everyone in the yeah. craft industry except us. Except us, yeah. yeah. Why you, you haven't got beard? Uh, my wife don't like it. <laughs> the same. Yeah. No. I must say that uh, I'm disappointed. Of course, it's not fresh because it's from May. <sighs> Most of the beer are from June, but still. White grape? White grape, yeah. But also caramel. Yeah. Spicy. Let's drink. Freshest beef flavor before. Okay, so we have uh, still nine days. <laughs> mm. Right, okay. 
yeah, white grape in the flavor as well. I'm getting white grape in the flavor. Um, it's light, it's refreshing, it's drinkable. There's no no alcohol like the Locopoli. But I not not, I, not at the level of Locopoli. Yeah, yeah. But I agree. Um, it's it's uh, it's the last days of its life. It's it's almost malty, isn't it? It's very malty and. But yeah, it's it's. Uh, this why I have a beard, Mrs. Hayden. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and there's quite a there's something going on on the back of my palate here, like um, maybe a touch of alcohol, or maybe a touch of spiciness or something. But it's much lower than Locapoli. Oh, much lower. Much, 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 much lower. Yeah. Oh, I. I can't complain on uh, the um, harsh uh, bitterness or harsh alcohol or something like that, but I complain on not very fresh, but couldn't be fresh. It's two months old. No. Do you think? Oh, well, maybe no. Six weeks. Six, six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks also, or maybe seven. But they say after a month, it starts to go. Crazy. After two weeks, yeah, yeah. When we started to brew uh, our beer with uh, Vidava, uh, it was uh, our first uh, beer was Crook, uh, mm. which is Raven. Yes, yes. and uh, it was uh, American Stout, uh, single hop uh, Simcoe, and uh, in first few days, many people said, "Oh, not it's not a stout." It's black IPA. It's black IPA. It's so hoppy. It's so hoppy. Yeah. After two weeks, oh, it's completely different beer. It's not so hoppy. It's more like style. Mm. So yeah. After two weeks, okay, it goes. Stone the Raven. Stone the Crows. Um, Tom, oh, I can't read that one. Uh, so uh, the question is uh, if you are going to show uh, show up in. Uh, Wrocław in 2019. Yes, yes, at yes. the festival. Absolutely, 100%. Father-in-law's 60th birthday. Um, had to. It just fell. My my calendar's been completely. Well, look, it's completely empty. My calendar was, has been empty for a while. It just so happens that this year, my father-in-law's 60th birthday. I had to go to Salisbury with this whole Russian thing. That's where he lives. You know, Salisbury. With mm -hmm. the Russian, with the the, the poisoning, uh, rich, ah, yeah, uh, poisoning. Uh, that's the city. Novichok. Yes, Novichok. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's what it was. So everything's fenced off. Um, it was it was quite a nice weekend, but I would, I hope he's not watching. But I would have preferred to be in Vratislav drinking with this man. Well, unfortunately, you get a t-shirt and a glass. Yeah? I have I have the t-shirt. Yes, yeah. also I, on the on the t-shirt. Only t-shirt. Only t-shirt. Only t-shirt. I, I wore the t-shirt in a couple of beer reviews. Um, but yeah, most definitely 2019, 2019 I will most definitely be there. Be 60, I'm not going to do his 61st birthday. <laughs> yes, I will be there. I will be there. And maybe there's another festival in Poland, maybe later on in the year, that I could come to. Lublin is uh, probably a great festival. I've never been there. Um, it's uh, but probably too hard to get to Lublin. What about one near an airport? What about the Krakow? Yeah. Krakow, but it, Krakow is not so near, yeah. Not not very well communicated with Lublin, but yeah, you can fly to Warsaw. Warsaw, when's that? Uh, question: Do you taste vodka also? Um, I no, I think slippery slope time. Once I drink so much beer, I think if I started on the hard liquor, I think that would <laughs> <laughs> be the end. That will be the end. Yeah, it'd be the end. It'd be the end. Yeah. It'd be messy and yeah, no, no. Yeah, maybe maybe um maybe the capital city. I just mentioned it. Um, Warsaw. Warsaw. When, when's the when's the when's the Warsaw Beer Festival? Uh, October, is it? October or November or September. I have a in principle, I have a collaboration. We're gonna be brewing a nut brown ale. Um where? With the brewery that sent me the box, the slow, the, the you, but you guys will be able to help me. Um, they changed the name a couple of Brewcraft, Raycraft, Raycraft. I, in principle, we had a chat on Facebook 
we're going to be brewing a nut brown ale for the... You're going to brew collaborative brew with a Recraft? Yes. When? In principle. in It's just word of mouth. It's just ah, okay. nothing signed, sealed, um, and it's going to launch in Warsaw. If we can sort something out, that would be pretty mm -hmm. wonderful. Uh, Look at the likes. 201, that's brilliant. Keep liking, guys. Keep liking. Thank you very much. Um, no, I don't. No, I quite like that. Forest, uh, it, uh, uh, yeah, there's a dark forest, uh, Imperial Baltic Porter with spruce, pines, and uh, something like uh, Yodwa. I don't know what is Yodwa in English, uh, but I try to find out. But I, I do understand um, the fear. Fear. Craft. It didn't, uh, that box didn't go down very well. The Tito's box. It's spruce, pines, and fir. Fern! Oh, yeah, I got it, I got it. Fern needles. Um, while we're here, I might as well talk about it. Spruce, spruce tree, yeah. Needles from the spruce. The Zitos box from Recraft. Did you try that one? The Zitos? S-Z. Zitos box? Uh, Stos. Stos. Stos box. Sorry. Stos. Sorry. You, you have to learn this word because yeah. Stos... In Polish, Stoss. in Polish craft beer, Stoss means great beer. Right. And my proverb is Stosy muszą być drogie. A nawet Stosy wam muszą być drogie. It means really great beers should be expensive. Because if they are expensive, yeah. you can buy it. Yeah. Because if they are cheap, Everyone grab it before you. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so you got to be. But I, I like the bourbon box in that box. That's bourbon my, box, yeah. My favorite. Mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah. Uh, stone, stone the crows, stone the crows. Um, I must say that after a few whiles, this beer is not bad. Not amazing, but not bad. I think maybe this was so fresh. And this is it affect, not so fresh. Yeah, it affected. We, we should. Uh, yeah. We should uh, blend. <laughs> blend. It. Blend it together. I think it affected our palate a bit, but I, I think it's a lot more drinkable than this. Yeah, because it's, it was yeah. hot. It was hot. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a lot more. Yeah. Um, comments. Yo, son, that's my other channel. Thank you very much for watching every video. Sean eighty seven. What's that, Simon? Oh, what we're we drinking? We're, we're drinking a cloud water IPA Equinox Simtor, 6.5% ABV. Oh, and he wants me to let you drive my car on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> no, no, I'm... I'm uh... <laughs> I, I was, a few times I was... What this Simon is doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Turning left and right. Yeah, fear in the yeah. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a very um, aesthetic. I don't know aesthetic uh, label. C could we say it aesthetic? Mm. Uh, when you see Cloud Waters beers in a row, they you can see them stand out. They're very uniform. Mm -hmm. Uniform. Um, Minimalistic. Yeah, yeah I, and it's the same. The Magic Rock, the Magic Rock beer. When when you see them all together, they've all got this this funny. And you go, there, there's Magic Rock. You can see Beaver Town. I bet it's like in the Polish beer shop. You can go, that's spelled P, and, and you can you can see them a mile away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, of a palette of beer, yeah, top man, so yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Kilner 79, yeah, thank you very much, thank you very much. Okay, oh, thank look at this, uh, Simon, Simon True. <laughs> 10. I must take some stoss from my pivnichka, pivnichka is sealer. You got salad beer, Shimon said that nice, I must take some stoss. Which is uh, great, great beer. Stoss. 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 I was called a Zita. Was called no, no Zita. No. no. Sh. Sh. Ty. Sto. Stoss. Stoss. 
Sztos. 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 But nearly. Nearly. But at the beginning is sh, but at the end is sztos. 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 At the end is s, not sh. Sztos. Sztos. Stos. Ah, it's hard. Stos. <laughs> I, I, I Stos is a pile of wood, and you can put a witch and <laughs> fire it. <laughs> this, is, this is stos. Uh, stos. First is sh, but the, at the end you have s. Stos. At the end you have s. Close. Stos. At, at the beginning you have sh. Stos. Stos. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. We got it. Thank you. Toss. You know, I've I've almost I've thought about moving to Oswald because it's such I've got such a great fan base in um S S S in Simon, yeah. <laughs> Toss. Toss. Oh there there is good. Okay. So now we have like farmhouse beer or stout. Farmhouse, farmhouse. Farmhouse beer. Let's get a farmhouse beer. 35 zloty. Wow. Uh, Hi Simon, you have new subscriber. Thank you very, very much. Uh, 35 zloty is something like four, uh, seven pounds. Uh, That's absolutely... Ten, 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 ten zloty. Sztos, najlepiej wydana... Oh no. <laughs> najlepiej wydana dycha w moim życiu. So it means sztos is, was my uh, best spent ten of zloty. Ten zloty. Thank you, thank for, you for much. your uh, training, uh, your uh, pronunciation. Brilliant, brilliant. Now, um, this is a well sought after series in the UK. All of the big bloggers are after it. Um, it's a series of eight beers. Did they, did they say in the shop, uh, Tomek? So it's the Northern Powerhouse series. So all brewed at Northern Monk. They grab brewers from all of the north of England, get them in uh, to Northern Monk, and they do a collaboration. This is a farmhouse beer, um, Wylam and Black Lodge collab. Does anybody know about Black Lodge? Um, I've, I've not heard of them. It's 7.5% ABV. Um, farmhouse beer with, what do we say, Citra. Wow. Citra, yeah. So do you have... Do you have this? When I am in Poland, I notice that everybody in the craft beer community are very friendly. Do you have this sort of series where, say, Pinter will say, um, El Brava, Bum, and yeah, there, 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 and there, 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 are, there are some uh, collaborative series. Uh, for example, El Bro, uh, El Bro, Ale Brovar, Ale Brovar, uh, Ale Brovar. Uh, has a, has a series with a, um, how to say it water water monsters something like okay. that and they brew with different breweries with beer band with uh, uh, artisan with some others there's a series Alebrovar and friends yeah and they brew and they brew. Um, Collaborative brew once a season, probably. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah, but on the other hand, as everywhere, there are some hates, some uh, laughs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> some disappointed laughs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's take a sip. Uh, very interesting label, like you know, some uh, I don't know, maybe not Picasso, but. Something like this, I think it's it's a lot. So the history, the history behind the north and the south was that the north was industry, coal, steel, and Margaret Thatcher killed lots them. of money, <laughs> <laughs> lots of money up there. Um, it was a real powerhouse. It, it fueled Britain. Liverpool, Manchester. Yeah, these big places, these strong workers. No, the more is in Leeds. Yeah, that's another big industry-led, I think it was cotton, you know, like I should, cotton. Big cotton industry up there. 
um, it was all hard graft and you had a beer after your hard work. And um, it was a powerhouse. It was the UK's powerhouse. A lot of your clothing come from there, your steel, every, everything, even your bread, your hovis bread come from, the, come from the lovely north. So this is to celebrate the northern powerhouse. Cheers to the northerners. Simon prepared the opener, but we have <laughs> only cans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go. So do you have this uh, same, um, do you have areas in Poland, Atomic, which is, which was more, um, you have rich areas where yeah, definitely. More, you use brain, you know, and then there's areas where you use shovels, uh, you, you know. What is interesting that in Poland, the uh, area when you use shovels or maybe hammers, uh, <laughs> which is Upper Silesia hmm. now, uh, change for the place where there is a lot of uh, mm, when you use brain, yeah, so, yeah. So it, it, it's very interesting that in Poland, that Upper Silesia is uh, known for mines, yeah. for coal, and for something like that, or maybe steel. But now they are known for very well uh, educated people. Yeah? Okay, yeah. So the change is there. Yeah, farmhouse ale. Good head. Addition, apricot peach mango. Oh. Apricot, yeah. Definitely. Mango. Mango. But yeah. where is the farmhouse? Where is the funky notes? Where is the <laughs> uh, fennels? I got a little bit of banana. Just a little, little bit of banana, maybe. Yeah, banana is, uh, especially in, um, in the taste. taste. Let's taste it. Or maybe in flavor, but um, it's juicy, definitely. It's juicy, but everything's juicy, and then everything's. Do you think the hop prices are so high now that people would rather just put mango juice in their beer? Is that is that an argument that we get? To I'm argue? for passion fruit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Very drinkable, easy drinkable. You wouldn't think it was seven point five percent. It it this drinks so much easier than the in terms of the harshness of the locker poly. There's no real alcohol. Yeah. Even even it's really the, juicy, uh, really uh, smooth, hmm. and uh, as you said, easy drinking. Easy drinking. But on the other hand, I was expecting something different. Yeah, like like the fun, you know, like the yeah the funk the the fun, ooh, yeah fun yeah. Truth. Yeah, or fennels, or you know something. It, 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 for me, it's in the back. It's right at the back. It's but there's not enough of it. I agree. There's there's not enough of that flavour. I've been a couple of times in Cardiff to see Speedway GP. Great uh, time, fantastic city. Speedway uh, Grand Prix. I've not been. I'd like to go. Sounds good. I'm uh, a big fan. I, I'm a big fan of Speedway. Well, maybe not big, but I'm a fan of Speedway uh, because in Wrocław we have a team, Speedway team. Okay. You know what is Speedway? Yeah, the, where they, there's like American Speedway, isn't there, where they go around like a dome. But uh, on the bikes. Oh, right. Mo Motorbikes. Oh. No, I've not been. No, no, but that sounds good. But please don't spoil the... Formula One result for me, but I want to mention one thing because we got a lot of Polish people watching tonight. I watched qualifying yesterday, and Lance Stroll in his Williams went off in the first corner. And do you know what happened? Do you know what the next scene was on Sky Sports when Lance Stroll crashed his car fifth time in a row? They panned their cameras to Robert Kubica, and the, the and the pressure is building and building because the Canadian. His father is paying for him to be there. He's paying £2 million a race for his son to ride around in this Formula One car. Which team he is? In Williams. Williams. Williams? Williams. Williams is uh, two Russian. Uh, no, uh, one Russian and one... Yeah, Lance Stroll, Canadian. But when Lance Stroll crashed, they panned the camera in the garage to Robert Kubica. And Kubica. And he's like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kubica. And you know... And every time this happens, I tweet to William saying, for goodness sake, 
throw away money bags, bring in the talent because they're at the back. And Robert Kubica, I've, I've mentioned Robert Kubica many times since I'm a massive Formula One fan. I think he's a great, great driver. Yeah. Anyway, back to beer. Back to beer. Oh, say Zuzel, because Speedway in Polish is Zuzel. Zuzel. Można? Można. Można. Sześć. Black Lives Matter. Maybe. What place in UK are you guys in? We are in Caddoxton near Barry, near Cardiff in Wales. Brilliant. That's brilliant. Caddoxton, yeah. Um, we're on the Her uh, Jurassic Coast. So um, there's actually... There's, uh, within a mile of this house, they say there's dinosaur footprints on the beach. So they've been there for millions of years. And maybe tomorrow I can show you these, these footprints in the... In the beach, uh, yeah. Simon. Uh, maybe we can tell our viewers what we are going to do in the next three days. Okay, you tell me. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you. Um, so we're gonna have a good drink tonight. It is <laughs> it's half past eight, so relatively early. Um, <laughs> but relatively uh, strong beers. <laughs> yeah, we've had some strong beers. Um, thank goodness it's cooling down a bit. Now. It's cooling. I don't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I was nervous beforehand. Maybe the beers maybe calm me down a bit. But uh, tomorrow morning we're going up to Grey Trees Brewery um, up in up in the valleys. Then we're going to drop down to my good friend Tom Newman. Um, Tom Newman is a beer sommelier. Um, he should be in Lines Brewing Company. I've got one of his beers in the fridge. Bear with me. Uh, Maybe we, maybe we open <laughs> one of these. I've had them. Lines brew. Lines brew. And this is the same as cloud water. They what is good, it's uh, only 3.6. Exactly. <laughs> they brew once. Strawberry lemon grisette and citrus grisette. Grisette was a season for miners. Yes. No, vinbeer for miners. Yes, exactly. So we'll, we'll pop in there tomorrow morning. Six unusual. Because there's 660 bottles, 660. Simon, Simon even has 660. <laughs> Star of <laughs> and Krombacher, 660. Have you seen it? Much of Polska. Oh, oh. The, the, the secret sounds. The secret sounds. Um. Simon is lagering it for a better taste <laughs> for months. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, so this is the idea with Tom Newman. Um, he brews um, farmhouse ales only, but he, like Cloudwater, change, 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 change. Mm -hmm. um, he brewed a really interesting imperial stout, um, uh, sour imperial stout. It was... Shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> It was, yeah, yeah. But this is, we'll make it into these. But we're, we're going to lines. The second day, we got a really busy day. Uh, in the morning, we're going to Crafty Devil, which is in Tuesday. Cardiff. Tuesday. Tuesday. We but uh, to, uh, Monday at the uh, evening, we are going to Cardiff to yes. a pub roll. I've just spoken to my wife before the, and she has probably found the babysitter. <laughs> so we're going to go into Cardiff. Uh, I'm going to show Tomek around all the bars. So if you, any of you guys are around Cardiff, really hope Arthur Daly. If Arthur Daly's watching, I'd love Arthur Daly to come and join us because Arthur's way, Arthur is Wales' is, um, I would say, beer historian. Mm -hmm. He can walk through Cardiff and go, that was a brewery, this is the oldest pub. And he, he's got that knowledge. Um, and he's got a great big beard. You may have seen him on the channel. Uh, Maybe, the, but he, I'm hoping Arthur can join us. From he's in Hereford at the moment. I hope he can come down tomorrow. Um, show us around Cardiff pub crawl, um, and then yeah, Tuesday is a big day because Tuesday night we are in Cardiff again. Um, Cardiff in the night, lots more pubs. We got to see Brewdog. Brewdog's had a refit. I've never known Brewdog to have a, a refurbishment. Uh, you know, Brewdog bar. The Brewdog bar. They 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 shut for five days. Cleaning and whatever they whatever they do, from, from yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll have a look at Brewdog Cardiff, 
Um, have a, but we're going to Crafty Devil in the morning, Tuesday. We're going to Tiny Rebel, and we are then going to West Wales, the other side of Wales. We're going down to see the, I've got to put this right now, um, Wales's oldest family of brewers. Over 250 years of family brewing, we're going to see Mr. Simon Buckley and Evan Evans. And he's a big character. He's a big character. He really is. Um, and on Wednesday, uh, yeah. and, and what about the game? Because there will be France yes. uh, and uh, France and uh, France and what? Uh, who? But that's Bristol on Wednesday. No, Wednesday. But if, uh, Tuesday is a uh, game, France. I against... never watch the football. Yeah, we watch the football. France against Belgium. Is it France, Belgium? Wow. I think Belgium. I'm going to go with it's, uh, Belgium, uh, Croatia. Uh, kind, kind of non, uh, final. You think that final will be Belgium, Croatia? Yeah. I so. Oh, sorry, my wonderful English friends. Uh, I, I hope, so hope it you. will be a bit, a bit, you know, uh, brotherhood war because yeah. part of Belgium is like France, yeah. Something of course, <laughs> of course, yeah. It's going to be a Malonia. But I think this is Belgium's better than the, France. The, 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 this is the golden generation. They'll never have a better chance. Never, Simon, never, never. Have you? Uh, do you? Do you remember that we? were sitting in their bus yes red devils yes i do yeah. in a european Beers Bogans conference we're driving this bus the belgium, their bus the belgium yes we're in the belgium team bus in belgium going around belgium yes i remember yes of course of course we visited a lot of breweries and i was very jealous because the second day you went to three fontaine and i went to stella <laughs> 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 you have to think previously and choose yeah, where you want I to see. go. Simon, I'm uh, next month. Yeah, I'm going to London County near Washington to Beer Bloggers Conference. Oh, amazing in US. That would be amazing. That'd be amazing. So, how does that work? Do is it sponsored? Sorry to talk about sponsored, but is it sponsored? Do you get sponsored? To no, go no, no. I, I pay for the yeah. hotel uh, flight and even for a, um, how to say it, conference. Yeah. But uh, the the money for the conference and for the uh, excursions is not so uh, so big because uh, it's something like. 125 for a conference or 100 okay. bucks for a conference and 25 yeah. bucks for a excursion but you have to pay for a flight yeah yeah which is something like 2200 dollars uh, uh, right okay something like that and for hotels yeah That's so okay. the whole the whole the whole uh costs Probably will be something like two thousand pounds. I think so. It's not bad. Yeah, not bad. But uh, we are going to Dogfish and to the completely brand new. I can't uh, imagine if you can guess. Guinness Brewery in US. I read about this. I've read about this. This and this. This, this be... is completely ridiculous. To, <laughs> to, yes. To bring. Yes. Wood to the forest? Yeah, <laughs> yes. I've heard about this, and it's apparently it's going to be really good. So, so I, I've heard also that uh, Anheuser Busch is going to export Camden beer to US. Really? <laughs> yeah. My goodness me! For this festival, that should be no great. For, oh, for, for 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 selling in <laughs> shops. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, completely, completely. I mean, it's nice beer, but it's it, it, by the time I get it, oh, it's me. I think it was in the end. Very juicy. Very juicy. It's definitely mango, uh, peach, apricot. But where is farmhouse? I don't know. Yeah, I, I can't. Fruit I ale, agree. fruit ale, okay. Yes. Juicy fruit ale, okay. But where is farmhouse? Yeah, it's it's not it's not really there. It's not really there. But again, it's another drinkable beer. Yeah, it's another... it's definitely. It you can't feel that seven point five percent. Yeah, alcohol is really well covered. Yeah, and I think it's benefited. We've left it for five minutes talking. It seems a bit better because it's been better. left in the glass for a, for a while. Warmer. So. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> nice. 
Where can I find you in where can I find you in Bristol? We will be posting on Facebook and we will be probably uh, doing some live stream maybe on my channel. Uh, so uh, for sure I would like to visit uh, more, more beer. Yes, most definitely. Uh, maybe left hand giants, maybe we go to um, Bristol Beer Factory. Um, wild is wild beer. I think wild beer is in Bristol as well. So we, so I'll show you the map. The map. There's loads of breweries, but definitely, as you said, more. Beer. But the Polish, we want to. But go there will be yeah. a game in Bristol, uh, England uh, versus Croatia. Croatia. That'll be a fantastic, fantastic game. I, I'm I'm really curious how it will be in the pub, uh, yeah. England. <laughs> or, yeah. or, <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally. It'd be that whole kind of yeah, <laughs> shouting, screaming, drinking. Yeah, 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 that type of thing. Yeah, we'll go to find a bar. We'll go to find a bar. Any USA trips in the future? No, I've said already. Simon, have you ever been in the US? No, never been to the US. I'm forty. We're the same age, aren't we? I'm yeah, 50. yeah, definitely. My fortieth. You are when you have a birthday. First, first May. May. First I May. had first August. First of all, so, so I'm two months older than you. Shepadek? Yes, I'm. No, 1979. 79, yeah. 79, so we're two months. You know you know what was started in 1979? The Polish Revolution. No, no, no. In USA, 1st uh, first February, mm. homebrewing gets legal. 1st ah. February, 1979. Right. It's coincidence. Mm, I don't think no, so. No, no, no. <laughs> of course, of course. 79 is a good year. A good year. Um, I'm going to hide that one. Um, so, yeah, for my 40th birthday, I would like to have one week. Because we were talking about life. Well, I call it life balance. One week. Work life balance. Yeah, no, uh, fa uh, family life balance. Family I've... work balance. We're talking about this whole balance thing. Being a beer blogger and having a family at the same time as me and Tom I do. Similar age children. Um, I was thinking next year of going to Florida for one week, taking the kids to Disneyland. Next week, kids. next year. Next, for my 40th. And then second week, San Diego. I was thinking San Diego, visiting all the breweries, West Coast IPAs. Is that the best place to go, by the way, San Diego? I don't know. I haven't been in San Diego. <laughs> I've been only in San Francisco, which is definitely worth to visit. Yeah. So, so I'm thinking. I'm thinking. First week, Florida. Do the thing with the kids. For um, for for twenty Amsterdam. I live in Florida. Well, there we go. Yeah, there we go. You live in Florida. Come come and see us. You have any spare week. rooms? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean. Give us some. It's Cigar City, apparently, in Florida. Tampa, Tampa, Florida. Yeah, so, so we've got Cigar City, so I can drink some beer in Florida. But the second week, then, is my week. That's the week where I go down to San Diego and we drink some really good beer. Okay. These are very long. What is that? Strawberry lemon or uh, citrus? I reckon. Lemon mm -hmm. zest and grapefruit. Fruit conditioned summer Belgianate, tart and fruit, and what we have lemon steeped and strawberry aged, tart and fruit. I think we could, I think we could do lemon or citrus, but it's very lively, it's very, lively. very, very lively. Okay, it will be show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's, nice. it's well, well chilled, okay. so uh, clean the glass. Okay. Look at that. Let's clean the glass, yes. Yeah, most definitely. All oh, that's pierwsze very, lany, very nice. Pierwsze, pierwsze butelkowe piwo dzisiaj na kanale. A first uh, bottled beer on the channel. Oh, there we go, there we go. Grisette. Grisette is a wheat beer for uh, miners. Yes. I've yeah. heard something like that. Looks very good. Aroma. For for twenty Amsterdam, I live in West Palm Beach. Unfortunately, close to Trump's house. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? This is Belgian one. This, this is this is what I 
looking for in this farmhouse. There, there were no Belgian yeast. So when it, one minute, one hour forty. I will send it to the brewer tonight. You check out one hour forty. He'll have a look at this. But yeah, very good. Very fruity, very citrusy, a bit tangy, mm. a, a, a bit tart, but refreshing after all these uh, yeah, strong. strong beers. Mm. Um, still interesting, even so it's only 3% ABV. Yeah, yeah, very good. Comparing to the 7%. Mm. Yeah, we, we drink a lot of light beers in Wales. It's it's all very session. It's rugby. Go to the pub at twelve o'clock. Fall out at nine o'clock in the night. What what is uh, what is the biggest brand, biggest seller in uh, well Wales? Ah, uh, maybe brands. Brands. Yeah, because they have. But what, what uh, kind of beer? Uh, Lager. That, no, it would be um, it would be either Brains Bitter or Brains SA. SA is um, uh, SA, yeah. Samuel Arthur Brain. That was the initials. SA Brain. So SA Brain. Yeah, SA Brain. I, I, I probably tried this beer. We'll try. It I, I was I was judging with uh, with uh, oh, a brewer from the uh, or a quality manager from the brain. Oh, uh, Don Jeffrey. Don Jeffrey. Don, yeah, Jeff Don Jeffrey. Yeah. Don Jeffrey was a great guy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a great guy. Oh, he's brilliant! Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, judging with him was a pleasure. I was yeah. delighted. Yeah, it was. It was really cool experience to judge with him. Yeah, he's, he's a really good guy. Don and the other guy as well. Uh, what was his name? His friend. I am. His friend. Uh, the other was it from? Had the, I am. I am Horsley. Yeah, yeah, Ian Horsley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely, lovely. Both of them were brilliant guys. Um, that was a night, wasn't it? You know? Don Don is uh, <laughs> uh, maybe we 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 can uh, uh, meet with him in some pub. Uh, how you call, you say it in English when you bump on someone? I can email him. I'll send him an email. Don lives in Don lives ten miles away. Yeah, he has a brewery in his gar in his garage. Homebrew, big big yeah homebrew thing. Yeah, I, I can speak to Don. I can say Tomax is here for the next next two days. I'll email him. That's a very, very good idea. Yeah, after six beers, that's yeah. a very, very good idea <laughs> to write to Don. Don Jeffrey, yeah, yeah, exactly. I forgot all about this. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely do that. Um, so, yeah, very typical, typical, very good beer for the style, I reckon. Well, it's probably my second or third degree set in, in my life. Yeah, I think it's I tried good. only mm -hmm. one in uh, probably in uh, Mother Lambic in uh, Brussels. Mother Lambic, yes, yes, I know, I know, yes. How many did you bring for Simon from Poland? Oh, this one. Look at these guys. Wonderful, wonderful beers, wonderful beers. So, Tommy, um, talking about Polish breweries, what has been. Because I've not seen you since Wrocław 2017, which is more or less a year. So we'll call it June to June. What's been from June to June since I last seen you? The biggest startup, the the biggest mover in the Polish craft beer scene, and and your number one new startup, the new brewery. New brewery. Mm. Tough, isn't it? <laughs> Tough question. I don't know. Yeah. Ropin probably is older. Um, That's the one I was talking about. In Panath, Rockmill. Brother Rockmill was in Panath where I took you. Panath? Panath, in the bottle shop. I don't have seen it. No, no, no. Yeah, some, I, someday. Someday I, I picked up the beer. Brother Rockmill, they were in all of the Brewdog bars they had in the UK. They had the, whole, the whole range. In Brewdog bars? In Brewdog bars in the UK, yeah, yeah. I, I must say that I tried Andrew from uh, Rock Mill yesterday and I was totally disappointed. But generally, they know they shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they're brewing quite interesting uh, New England IPAs. And yeah, I generally like their beers. Even so, um, 
I criticized many of them that it was too sweet, too less bitterness. Mm -hmm. But uh, Andrew was disappointed. I'd like to say on the beer 52 beers and my time in Poland last year, I would say my standout brewery from last year was is it Therese Compli. Czech Compli. Czech, Czech Compli. Uh, the mist, Misty was... Three mates. Mate. Three mates. Three mates. There, there's the name. Czech Compli. It's three mates. Three mates. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> no właśnie. Z Czech Compli też muszę powiedzieć, że jestem rozczarowany, bo... <laughs> so I, I must say that uh, with Czech Compli I also disappointed because I bought uh, Misty and it's not a Misty I'm used for. Misty is a... You review it. I have it. a bottle. If you, yeah, I have bottles here. Yeah. Review it. it uh, Misty is a New England IPA. Yeah? Yeah. They call it comp contemporary IPA, but it's New England. Yeah, I I, I love this, uh, this uh, uh, brew. And uh, I, I'm, this is the one of many, many... Uh, the one of very, very few beers I buy more than one bottle. Ah, okay. okay. But I've bought four and I don't know what to do with the three more. <laughs> because the first one was <laughs> disappointed. Okay. Wine Tooth. Wine Tooth wine is not a new brewery. Uh, wine Tooth, uh, it's a uh, name of a town mm. in uh, West Pol uh, in East Poland. And wine suit uh, made a great uh, lager in, in collaboration with Pinta. Okay, okay. It's called Crystal, which Crystal. means crystal. 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 Uh, clear. Like crystal clear, clear, clear with clear. rice. Oh. But yeah, it, it's a big thing in Poland. Yeah, uh, generally lagers and mm. pilsners. A big thing, big trend in Poland yeah, nowadays. Yeah, yeah. It's not only in Poland. No, it's all over the world. Yeah. yeah. Craft Pilsner, craft lagers. Yes, yes. On the other hand, a big trend and very, very, uh, you know, promising is no alcohol or low alcohol beers. There's plenty of it in Poland. Right. Plenty. I, 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 I scratch my head. I really do. I scratch my head with this whole thing because. I like to pack the car, and when I finish driving, I like to have a beer. I, I don't mix the Especially two. Especially in the UK, <laughs> when, when you have 0.8, yeah? Yeah, 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 totally. I, I, I never... In I Poland, never... in 0.2. Oh, so, so the, the limits for drinking. So you can have, what, half a beer? Or less than this? If you are a big guy like me. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but... My father years ago, but I must say that I uh, buy a, uh, I bought a, a breathalyzer. Yeah, and I must say that 0.8. Yeah, I feel tipsy. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know yeah. how you drive with the. I drive better. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's this one? Like? Uh, one hundred. Uh, a one uh, for one hundred is Cormoran uh, beer. One for one hundred, one percent for one hundred. Yeah. Okay. I I even think about bringing this beer, but thinking that I prefer to bring some they, big beers. I tell you, they look, but, they look uh, absolutely yeah. fabulous, Tony. Look at them. Look at them. They're going to be great. We're going to take them down a the beach. We're yeah, in UK, really except Scotland. In Scotland, it's all point five. Uh, I've heard that they changed. In Scotland, it's all point five, the limit. Yes, and the alcohol tax. They brought out alcohol tax. No, I mean uh, driving. And the driving, all point five. Yeah, yeah. all point five. And here's all point eight. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I breathalyzed <laughs> a few times, all point eight, and I was. Wow, they <laughs> were driving in that <laughs> condition. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's this? USA what? one point. No, no, no. It's not true. Uh, it depends on the state. Uh, but like, uh, like Vincent Vega said, it's illegal to stop you <laughs> if you are not committing any crime. So if you, okay. you could be drunk. Uh, ah, so, uh, yeah, it could be shit faced, <laughs> but if you obey the rules, <laughs> it's, fine. it's fine. Can you be 
Zenus for two the next two minutes. Turn turn into Zenus for two minutes. For, somebody for somebody what? says Janus. 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 Janus for two minutes. Uh, ask Simon, does he know Janusz? Ja, Janusz. Janusz. Janusz is the guy with the yes, uh, with I love mustache. It. Brilliant. I, love, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I think it's brilliant. Because um, uh, Dr. Brew brewed a lager, didn't they? And you said, not uh, Tomek Lager. 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 Yeah, Lager. Yes, not Tomek This is Janusz. I see you do the review. Janus, that was great. But what, what was funny that I made a, a review of uh, Asahi <laughs> <laughs> Children's IPA. Yeah, my children's IPA. <laughs> together with Janus, the review, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, for what was really funny, I show it to a few people. Yeah. And they said, okay, what is funny? Yeah. Because they uh drink it they don't uh they they didn't uh noticed that's the same guy oh. they think it's <laughs> the same guy yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah guy yeah. what is funny yeah yeah okay <laughs> and then it's yeah it's brilliant i tell you what it's a, like an alter ego thing isn't it uh, um, <laughs> alter ego yeah yeah it's like it's like um tip the i like the word typical you know, general, you know, you know what they said uh, in in Poland that I'm generally like Janusz, but pretend to be like Tomasz Kubera. <laughs> 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 Actually, I suppose is it ever a day in? It's very rare for us being uh, bloggers. We generally have so much beer, but if we didn't have all of this beer. For me, like there's, there's days where, because I work for myself, it might be like three days, no work. I'll go to Lidl's, I'll buy some vice beer from there. Is it ever a time where you go, ah, I'm just going to get some cheap beer in? And and you have a family occasion, and if you know what a family occasion springs up on you, and it's like, I have to go to this place, I'm just going to get some, like my typical, let me show you my typical beer. Szczerość w naszym klubie to norma. So this is my typical, my typical. In can, in can. I, I, I know this beer. I know this beer, but from bottle. I, this was one of my uh, first, uh, first uh, ale yeah. from UK. Yeah. Uh, imported in Poland, but in in uh, in uh, bottle. Uh, yeah, I was probably. I was probably satisfied, but I also uh, buy some other uh, beers from uh, Green uh, King. Green King, yeah. Uh, IPAs. Oh, and yeah. I try it. I don't know what people <laughs> are <laughs> yeah. Yeah. fussing yeah. about. What, yeah. what is really cool in this caramel? Yeah. Not very bitter. No. Not no. very hoppy in aroma. What is going on with this IPA? No, no. Everyone, exactly. IPA, IPA. Yeah. What's... It's not really, it's just a light bitter. It's a light bitter. But that's I would I would like to uh, uh, show you something. We drink, we we drank, we drank five cans and a bottle, not finished yet. Yeah. And we haven't go to the toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is <just> completely. <laughs> We're sweating, sweating out. Yeah, look, I'm like a beetroot, <laughs> the rhubarb beetroot. Um, burak, 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 <laughs> burak, like a burak. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, burak, burak in Polish is a beetroot. Yeah, yeah. but burak means means someone who is rude, who is ah, like Janusz. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But um, brava, uh, brava artisan. Um, no, Bravar Lubrov make a beetroot ale ah. with beetroot. But what artisan? Uh, uh, the, 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 the curly hair. Yeah, Asintus, uh, Jacek. 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 <laughs> when I was in Wrocław two years ago, he said, you must, you must come and try this soup. It was like a stew soup. So we went and he took me to this stall and we had beetroot, um, beetroot stew. With bread and oh, it was the Barst. best. Oh, it was wonderful, wonderful. But where the festival? 
in the Vidal? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, in uh, no, 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 in um, Vlotsvav festival. festival, it was a stall just selling beetroot soup, and it was oh, what? It was, yeah, I think, yeah, beetroot soup, bar, bar soup, bars, bar, bars, soup, bars, bars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got it. Barsh. Uh, it was lovely. It was really, really nice. Simon, barsh cervone. Barsh javone. <laughs> yeah, got it again. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was really Borsch. good. Barsh is uh, Russian. Yeah. That was good. I might have. Do you want some more of this? Yeah, yeah. It's really cool and low alcohol. Just to chill, chill out a bit. But yeah, we go. That's that's where we got to. We're going here tomorrow, um, and we're going to um, tomorrow or Tuesday. No, we go here. We go to so um, the we we go to the mountains. What's the mountains in Polish? Góry. Góry. We go to Góry tomorrow. The Góry. The Góry. <laughs> <laughs> um, we go to meet. Um, I, I should. I'm going to say army. He's from the army. Um, army finished in the army. Yeah. You're in the army now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, let me show you. Let me show you. Uh, we're going to see. Um, what, what about army in in UK? It's uh, not not. Uh, you 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 have to. So him, we're going. He's now. He's uh, jihad. <laughs> it's <laughs> Afghanistan. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> what? What? Terrorist. Terrorist. <laughs> he he owns a brewery. He's a Welshman. Um, but he was in uh, ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Ray. That's Ray Davis. That's Ray Davis. He he. Was in um, the army, the special army. They, you know the the high. Kind of, it's it's one of the in, in the UK. You don't speak black about ops, it. black ops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, it's no, no. You don't speak about it. But anyway, he finished. He finished in the army, and now he owns a brewery in Aberdeer, and he has a beer called Afghan IPA. <laughs> <laughs> We're going there tomorrow morning at nine, nine, about nine ish a.m. But he's a uh, Brit British, right? He's Welsh. Welsh. He's Welsh. Um, yeah, yes. you, you, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's. Well, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We brewed. Cup, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> we brewed a collaboration. Beer. Mi six. <laughs> but he has a big old Afghan IPA. But we had an arm wrestle um, in a bar. SAS is Scottish? No. It means um, special something. Special so, something forces. Uh, <laughs> special army something. Uh, I, I something. But anyway, we had this arm wrestle, Tomek, um, in, in, the, in this bar. And I made a video on YouTube. And we were both like this, sweating. And, and, he got, and, he, and then he, he just went like this from his eye. Like this, and then he just went <laughs> and he broke my arm. Then. <laughs> Play, you playing with me? Playing with me. Uh, there is a question for you What is the difference between uh, British and UK, United Kingdom, Britain and U U United Kingdom? It's the same thing, I think. British, UK. Uh, do you know, I'm with a good friend, Tom is Polish, I'm from Wales. I see. You think you think uh, two human about, beings. You think about you as a Welsh? No, there's somebody from the world. Somebody in the world. Somebody in the world. Simon Martin. Yeah. So you're you're in Poland. I'm in the UK, but we're very good friends, and that's how I see the world breaking down barriers. You know, breaking. In, in, if if we play football. Poland versus Wales. Yes, of course. We 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 fly the flag, and, but in terms of reality, Bra, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in terms of reality, Christian Bale is also Welsh. Yeah, 
He has a bar in Cardiff. He's called Eleven, but it's maybe not so good. Start a problem. <laughs> Is it? Where did it go? It was. It was around there. But anyway, yeah. Um, I see. I see two people who enjoy the same subject, and we're good friends. How, how do you do? You see the world similar? This, this, this is completely different thing because uh, one time I was uh, uh, on uh, my cousin's wedding. Yeah, and I'm not uh, playing well. Mm -hmm. There were only vodka and crappy beer, or, okay. or maybe no no beer. Yeah, and I said uh, something uh, on the video that I feel more connection with the guys in uh, Oedipus Brewing in uh, Amsterdam. Yes, yes. From Netherlands than yeah. with that guy on that wedding, which were it's, my, uh, yes. you know, my... Family. Family, but... Family, yeah. I, I know family, but, uh, yeah. you know, uh, guys from the same nation. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Exactly, exactly that. We have similar, very similar interests. Very, and, and that means the difference. You know, that, that, that's, we could be from anywhere in the world, and we both enjoy a really good beer, and that's that's what ma matters, I think. And we yeah. we don't go to the toilet. <laughs> Do you need to go? No, I I can stand next beer. <laughs> okay, okay. Old speckled hen. <laughs> should we do old speckled hen, or should we do? Why not? Let's do it. We 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 try it and yeah. I tell you if it's good or not. Yeah, this is my this is my this when is, I have no beer. This is this is like harmash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like uh, when I have no beer left and the shops open down the road and I go down the road and I go. Mm, this will do. This will do. Let's clean the glass. Maybe more hops if we don't clean the glass. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There we go. And it used to be 5.2%. It's now only 5%. Do you feel the difference? No, not really. But the big breweries, they've got this right. See the conditioning. How? What is it? Is this nitro? It's is this CO2? There is diacetyl. Ah. Yeah. Butter. Butter, diacetyl, yeah. Like in Czech, uh, Czech Pele. Massacre. It's just, yeah, it's, it's just nothing. But, yeah, I call it night off. Forgive me, but it's, it's a piece of crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I can't drink it. That's poor. <laughs> Taki po prostu harnaś angielski. Okay, uh, we can drink another uh, reset. Nice smoke. Oh, ah, there, there, it is. Is. Yeah. there we go. Very careful. Too much. What, what do you think, Tom? Because they warn me every one of their beers is. What's going on at the brewery? If, Overcarbonated, if yeah. Mm, what happens? Is it too much? This is definitely funky. Ah. This is infected. Mm. <laughs> but in in good way. Yeah. But it's infected for sure. It's funky. It's uh, ah, stable. Yeah. Horse blanket. Yes. Yes. Ah. A bit pharmaceutic, uh, pharmacy, band-aid. Oh, it's spoiled. Do you think? 
Yeah. It's spiked, yeah, definitely. It's infected. The aroma is okay, but uh, the, the flavor is... Mm. Really hot, carbonated, the carbonations. Carbonation, but uh, you feel this uh, like band aid aroma. Yeah. Pharmaceutical, pharmacy. Mm. Yeah, 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 like pharma yeah, pharmaceutical, yeah, yeah. Okay, we throw this away. Ah, and the bottle. But a lot of their beers are very. We, we, we need, we need, a, we need a, we need a. For a no, it's not possible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's spoiled. It's spoiled <laughs> definitely. No good. Should yeah. happen. Should yes, happen. Yes, should happen. Let's get a good beer out the fridge. What are the lines beer? We're going there tomorrow. Hopefully, they'll have something good on the bar there. Yeah, one of them. Cool, 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 cool. That shit, or what is this? What, what, what? Oh, it's been, uh, it's been deleted. This, this one here, it was deleted. Marco deleted, uh, so I, I believe in him. So that's good. That's good. He decided good. Right. But what is good? Uh, the number of viewers is still increasing. It's amazing. It's Absolutely 246. Amazing. And 260 likes. Guys, like for us. Give us a like. Um, absolutely fantastic. People are screaming for the prunum, but I'm not going to do that. Um, for an extra stout and a sour... Sour what? Sour Damson IPA. I think uh, IPA will be better for the beginning. Yes, absolutely. But uh, this, keep it this. here uh, to warm up. Uh, magic Rock. Magic Rock. Uh, I remember that I when I first time was in uh, Bristol, uh, in, it was probably 2012 or 13. I was at the BJCP uh, exam here. Mm. And... Uh, Oh, you met Richard, Richard Burhouse. What? You met Richard Burhouse with the barbecue. They did a barbecue at the brewery. Uh, BJCP, Beer Job oh. Certification Program. Okay. okay. Uh, and uh, Magic Rock was uh, the brewery which uh, made me, for me, was the most impressive. Of mm. course, Arbor Ace also, but mm. Magic Rock was for me the best. Yeah. So uh, this is the collaborative brew Magic Rock and Hawks had. Hawks Head uh, Brewery. It's a uh, sour damson IPA. It's uh, hops, uh, malt, golden promise malted wheat dextrin malt, hops, Denali and mosaic, cryo, mosaic, and simco. Other ingredients. Damson. What is damson? Um, damson is, I'm sure it's like a dandelion or something. You know, the yellow weed. Um, I'm sure it's a da dandelion. Something like, yeah, something like a dandelion. So I'm sure it's something close. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Ah, I know. No, I don't know. Damashka. I don't know what is the damn song. Uh, I, I think it was... Comment, uh, guys. Let us know. Comment. I, I, I was uh, I was thinking that it's like something like Rumianek, but it's not. Somebody said make a rant on Brewdog with Tom Hick. <laughs> no, no. Hmm. Not today. Not today. Hibiscus? And lactose and bread trois, uh, uh, br uh, yeast and souring culture bio natural yogurt. Do you have this in Poland? The cryo, cryo, cryo yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what is this cryo? This is uh, lupulin removed from hops and only lupulin, and the hops uh, are other product. Cryo is especially for. Uh, uh, hopping in the oh, the double dry hopping. 
Yeah, but uh, in the process that you pump the beer through the... Oh, the uh, whirlpool. No, no whirlpool. Mm. Uh, ready beer, you pump over the hops. Like torpedo, like torpedo IPA. Oh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know what you mean. Um, is it recirculating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recirculating. That's it. We, we got there. Recirculating. Um, Damson is a type of plum. 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 No shit. I like that. He's checking. He's no. checking just to make sure. Let me read some comments while Tomek's checking this. Um, actually, let, let, let's just go. Let's just go. Yeah. Uh, gin. It's uh, uh, yeah. You're uh, sure. Uh, you're right. You're right. It's uh, it's a kind of plum. Simon, are you more famous in England or Poland? I showed Tomek my stats earlier. On Something the like uh, 50-50. I'd say 50 50. Shiva Lubaszka, yeah. Uh, something like. Uh, like. Uh, jak się nazywa ta taka śliwa? Uh, taka dzika. Uh, ale nieważne. Hmm, very happy. Looks good. But head retention, but that's a sow beer. Did never no, no head on the sow beer. Nie mi rabelka, ta taka uh, czarna. Uh, Nie węgierka. Smells wonderful. Smells Tarnina. I mean Tarnina. Not bad. Interesting. Good carbonation. I like the carbonation. Low carbonation. Mm. But there's something there's something on the back of the palate. Something something just tickling my palate there. Śliwa lubaszka to mirabelka? Okay. Mirabelka is a... Uh, this damaska hmm. is a common uh, wild plum. Yellow one. Okay. Which is really common in Poland. Hmm. Maybe. Czarna Mirabelka? Okay. Nie, no Mirabelka to Mirabelka. I get the dank. They talk about, do you have this um, in Poland, this word? Uh, sorry, this is Damson. Um, but Damson. It, Damson. It's like a dank. God damn it. Yeah, yeah. Damson? Damson. Damson. God damn it. Yeah, but you get the dank. The almost... Like it's just pulls everything down in your palate. Um, what am I trying to yeah, say? It's it's a, it's, it's a, it's a bit dang. astringent on, on, yeah, the, yeah. on the on the tongue. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. And this is there for the fruit uh, from the fruit. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I feel it. Yeah. Very tasty. Again, very drinkable. What's the, uh, the ABV? I'm not looked at the seven or okay. seven. Like that. Wow. 6.5. That's brilliant. That is absolutely just... Okay, I'm going to the toilet. You go. Straight up the stairs. You, I'll you have to. You have to. Take over on the on, on my channel. Um, do you know, it's it's been a pleasure. An absolute pleasure. It's an eye-opener. Um, I really appreciate the live viewers. Um, it's very humbling. Um, I really appreciate the... The actual, uh, what do they call it? It's, it's called Super Chat. There's something here called Super Chat where you can actually donate a little bit of money. And the amount of people who were, who were donating money was, was, and I want to talk about this whilst Tomic's in the toilet. Um, it's, it's really humbling. It's unbelievably humbling. Um, and it's almost... It breaks the conversation. It's like, wow, wow! I just cannot and not understand 
understand is the wrong word. I just can't believe, you know, that this generosity in the world is just incredible. Somebody here on YouTube is watching. They appreciate what we do, the hard work we put into it. Oh, I mean, look at this now. I'm not, and for one minute, I'm not standing here with my begging bowl. For one minute, am I standing here with my begging bowl? And thank you very, very, very much for Milton Keynes, uh, five pounds. That is unbelievable. Thank you very much. Um, I'm not mentioning it to get more money. I'm mentioning it just to give a thank you, just to give a wow, unbelievable, incredible thank you. Um, I suppose, I suppose, for what the 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 the. There's a lot of effort that goes into YouTube. There really is. There's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, let's move on from that. It was a little bit awkward, of course. It's a little bit awkward, but um, man, bat, bat. Thank you very, very much. It's, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, Let's let's move on from that. It's money is always a slightly awkward subject, isn't it? I always find it very humbling, um, but it's also very slightly or for a humble person, it's also a very humbling and, and slightly awkward thing. So let's move on from the money. Um, I want to thank Tomek really. Um, I know he's not here at the moment. I want to thank the followers who've tuned in. He put it out on his social media that he's here. Um, he's, 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 he's visiting us. Um, we're going to be drinking some great beer. We've had a fabulous night. We, we really had a wonderful time here. Um, and his generosity, that generosity to share one YouTube channel to another is incredible. Um, there's no rivalry. Um, there's, no, there's no competition. We're just two blokes enjoying a really good night on YouTube, and I, I really like that. I really like, I think it's fantastic. Um, so yeah, please, by all means, if you're here, please subscribe, please comment, please ring that ding a ling bell thing. Here he comes, here he comes. I can see, yeah, hey, here he is, here he is. Um, he's been to the bathroom. Um, I was just mentioning your, your wife was to the brush, and so it was to the brush. Oh. Ah, it's fine. what is it? Twenty past nine. That that yeah. Don't worry about that. But I want to ask you about how humbling it felt when this is the first time this has happened to me. The the, the whole super chat thing. What did it, the first time it happened to you? What did what did you feel like when? Yeah, yeah. I was surprised. Yeah, I was surprised. But on on the other hand, you have to switch on this. Yeah. So of course, you, of you course, expect yeah. something. You expect yeah, maybe someone pay for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah it, it, it's a really nice feeling when someone pays. Uh, it's unbelie unbelievable, for unbelievable. Making your video and yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's 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 a lovely, it's a lovely, lovely, humbling feeling. It really is. Um, okay, um, somebody mentioned IKEA. Um, okay, so we're drinking a magic rock, magic, magic rock, magic rock, a sour Damson IPA. Uh, which shows it's uh, sour Mirabel IPA. So, what have you thought of Wales so far? I think we have similar. I think we have similar diets in terms of. I know it, it is a beer challenge. We should be talking about food, but um, a we, lot of a lot of potatoes. Yeah, and with Irish, the same diet. I'm going to grab something for Tomic. I know Tomic. Um, I have some. Let me, let me grab, me. grab these. <laughs> One second. These are, are they called Lays in Poland or are they called Lays? Lays, Lays, Lays. Right. These are perfect with beer. Hot chicken wings. Chicken. I don't need it. No, <laughs> no, no chicken. I don't need no it. chicken? It's just flavor. It's just, uh, flavor yeah. from chicken. <laughs> wings, wings, seasoning. No, I don't eat wings chicken. No, I I could eat cheese. 
This is jalapeno and cheese, but it's jalapeno. Jalapeno. Not jalapeno. 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 My language is terrible, isn't it? <laughs> this is perfect with beer. Perfect with beer. But generally, it's not low carb. No, but I wanted to ask you: uh, these these crisps are always spicy. Are they really? Is it really perfect? They really. You get the greenness of the jalapeno. This thing. is the idea. Mm. To eat spicy grips and drink more beer. Right, okay. Because I was thinking beef. This is for me like this mm. is the question. Perfect with beer, because you have to drink. Yeah. Vegan hamburger. Yeah. Oh, would, would you like to try the? Did you see the video? So I made um, I made a vegan burger. Have you heard? Because of vegan? Uh, his wife is vegan. My wife is vegan, so I've been eating more. But they call it the Impossible Burger. It's a vegan burger that bleeds. Bleeds. But it bleeds beetroot juice. So what's beetroot? Um, Burak. Borak, borak juice. It bleeds borak juice. Borachane sok. Borachane sok. Sok z buraka. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> My brain. Like... <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Polish language. It's it's good. No, I like it. I like but it. But it's not so it's easy. hard. It's quite hard. It's quite hard. But so yeah, it it, it it's vegan. It's, it's vegetable, but it bleeds beetroot. To, to simulate simulate blood. Okay. But my question. But it's my question is uh, why? Uh, it's why quite perverse. Yeah. If you exactly. don't emit simulate blood. Exactly. It's exactly. quite perverse. Why? Why does it? Why does it happen? Ah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly that. Exactly. Yeah. It's like yeah. I don't. I don't. Uh, never been a fan of. Uh, even if I don't eat meat, because now I eat, uh, but only fish and uh, mm. and uh, see uh, seafood. But even if I don't, I I, I didn't eat uh, uh, meat at all. So I I was really curious why to I how to say it uh, imitate. Yeah, that's right. Imitate, imitate, imitate. meat. Yeah. Yeah. Why? 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 Why do you need a burger? Why does it have to be yeah, brown? Burger, burger, burger is not not a bad thing. It's a bread, bread, veggies, and something inside. Yeah, yeah. it's not a problem. But sausages, it's right. exactly <laughs> yeah. So exactly. soya sausages, why? 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 Exactly. Soya exactly. chicken, why? Why? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I can understand it, but. Uh, hamburger uh, uh, or, or burger, a veggie burger, for me, is completely no problem, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's this one? Uh, no, no. Uh, there is Polish, uh, Polish discussion about who is living here and who is living there. Polish people living in the UK and their... Uh, Realize that they are like neighbors and so on. Oh yeah, I I, I just I introduced beer to my connecting beer. people. Exactly, exactly. What is the most Welsh food? Um, cheese on bread. Cheese on bread. It's so simple. It's but uh, cheese or quark? With like no cheese. With with um, some of this, some brown sauce. It's incredible. This is all uh, a couple of. It's all vegan, mixed beans. This is children's. So we eat loads of this kind of vegan mixed beans instead of meat because it's got a meaty feel. A lot of proteins. Yes, yes. Yeah, I, I, I used to yeah. uh, eat, uh, eat a lot of uh, beans and, and, uh, and so on, but generally on low carb, I, I should avoid it. Mm. Instead of that, I, I eat fish or seafood, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And anybody watching from Cardiff, I'm going to take Tomek to the the Cardiff indoor market, to the famous fish market. They have a famous fish market with this. In Cardiff? Yeah. Like it's, all, it's all on ice. 
it's all on ice. So all the fish is on ice. Um, but we must visit it last because we must get it home to cook it. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Generally, it's not. I I am not a you know a guy who watch a dead fish and wow. <laughs> I am only eating it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, somebody's gonna use just eat app. Do you have a just eat app in Poland? A what? Just eat. It's app like Uber Eats. No, I I, I haven't heard about. Um, so you go on the app. Um, you choose Chinese restaurants. It'll choose all the Chinese restaurants in the area, mm -hmm. and then you choose the food and you. We have we have fish now. Yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Some, so, so I, I knew Poland would have an app for because yeah, the, the, the Polish guys are on it. Yeah. Uh, anything else coming through, Tomek? Yeah, uh, one guy has a problem uh, that uh, my English is not so good. I understand everything Tomek says. No problem at all. If Tomek's English is much better than Simon's Polish. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's fine. It's fine. Okay. Best Welsh beer. Best Welsh beer. Um, that is really a tough one. Really a tough one. Um, um, mm -hmm. Everyone's saying at the moment it's it's these. Everyone's saying, but we've only had the maybe, one. Maybe maybe some. We choose from three. This one maybe the second. Yeah. Which was different and will be amazing. Amazing, yeah. but everyone's saying at the moment Locker Poly is is the best. Out there, at the, at the moment, they're from North Wales. They're from right up north. We in are a, not in going a, in there. A, no, it takes three hours, three hours to go. But it would be, and it's in a remote Wales. So, so Wales as a country on the south, the bottom bit, you have the three cities: Newport, Cardiff, Swansea, and then anything, Swansea. It's, uh... Łukasz Fabiański. Yes, Play. yes, but yeah, yeah, exactly. Anything. But any, he goes to West Ham. He's gone to London. Yeah, he's gone to London because Swansea went down. Hammers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything north of Wales? Uh, it's uh, mount, mountains, mountains, but mountains. But you know, uh, West Ham uh, means uh, there is bubbles, bubbles. Uh, All big, big bubbles. No, no, no. I mean uh, that that uh, movie, uh, Hooligans, with this. I feel bubbles. Yes, yeah, I know, I know. With Frodo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's a good goalkeeper. He played in the World Cup, didn't he? Yeah, last game. Uh, many people in Poland uh, think that he should play all the games. Mm. And it will be different. Yeah, yeah right. Szczęsny made some mistakes. I got, even, even it's a uh, goalkeeper from Juventus, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I watched the just quickly Senegal game and, and I, re I I just wanted Poland to go for the you probably agree, go for the juggler, go go for it. But ah you you finished the conversation. What happened? Shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I watched the game. I, I did watch the game. Um shit shit happens. Um what are you guys drinking? What are you? Everybody tuning in tonight. Two hundred and thirty-eight people. That's fantastic. What are you drinking? And three hundred thumbs up. Amazing. Respect. Me three hundred and that's amazing, guys. If you can give us a big thumb up, that'd be fantastic. And probably something like two hundred pounds, maybe one hundred pounds in uh, donations. It's incredible. Honestly, absolutely incredible. Uh, someone's saying something about. I love they they drink. they writing what they drink. Greece, white IPA, uh, black seal, black seal. You try it from uh, yep. Czech company. You take over and I'll grab a box. I have one box left. Like, Vodka right? with milk. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know, like. Jak to się nazywa? Pokarm matki, tak? Vodka with milk. 
Augustina Radelsztoj. Ko- kojarzę jak, jak najbardziej. Mizania Mamuta. To be 52. Oh, uh. The beer 52. This is what I have left. Let me grab some more. Uh. Stu mostów. Trzech kumpli. Trzech kumpli. Pinta. Trzech kumpli. I, I like this one. The misty is really good. Pinta. And what is this? Oh, we can open this if you like. Millions of peach, milkshake IPA. But it's not from Poland. No, no, it was added to the box. Um, and the magazine, the magazine somewhere. It's upstairs, I think. But yeah, we have plenty of plenty of Polish beer. But uh, nowadays, because there were uh, box, yeah. Everyone's the comments coming in. This is the only one I haven't reviewed. Everybody's saying this is wonderful. This is absolutely terrific. I probably uh, try uh, try it, but I haven't made a review, so let's why not? Let's drink it. You don't collect uh, chrome cups. Uh, th- yeah, put them up there. So throw it, them. I can open it uh, with no. Ah, perfect. Clean the glass. Double dry hopped deeper uh, from Salamander. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Na um, zdrowie. Salamander uh, from uh, Stumosów. Na zdrowie. Sorry, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a, it's a Alexa. Siri. Alexa. Alexa. Stupid. Alexa from uh, yeah, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> no, na zdrowie. Bo ty tak, you, na you, zdrowie. You, you, you said in a Russian manner. Oh. Na zdrowie. Na zdrowie. Love it. Good head. Lovely looking head. Caramelly. Oxidated. Mm, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad at all, but a bit oxidated. Mm. Ah, shame. Shame, your shame. But people were saying, why 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 don't you review this one? And, uh, Yeah, not bad. It, but it, it's okay. It's, but it's caramelly, okay. oxidated. Mm. Has it made a difference? The beer fifty two box. Shainus. Shainus. Shainus is a, a Scottish name. Oh, Shainus. She yes, Scottish name. Yeah. Ha, Tomek, has the has the beer fifty two. Uh, Ferment magazine. Has it made a difference? Is it more uh, imports now of Poland? Don't I've ask been me. Screaming Don't ask for me. I can ask you. I'm not. What, what is what is their uh, reach? Personally, I find it very frustrating. Uh, Greg Koch goes Koch. to Poland. Greg Koch. Greg Koch. Koch. Greg Koch. This is Koch. this is Greg, Greg, Greg Koch. Greg, this is funny. Greg Koch, yeah. because he's from Germany, the name is from Germany, we should it pronounce it Greg Koch. But in US, they pronounce it Greg Koch. Koch, yeah, yeah. Koch. <laughs> like Koch. <laughs> <laughs> And you pronounce it like Greg Koch. Koch, Koch. yeah, Greg Koch. But he went, but Tommy did an interview with, with Greg. Yeah. Um, he went there. He was very much interested in beer and that showed because he went to Poland he knew there was a scene in Poland he went there he enjoyed the beer uh, I've been there other people have been there 
I've been to Wrocław. I've been to, to um, uh, yeah, okay, okay. Been to, uh, the first place I landed in Britain from Britain from London to Makatowice. Um, we're Pinta, Viva La Pinta. Um, Krakow. Krakow. Sorry, Krakow. sorry. I went to Krak to, from London to Krakow, and it's a one. And I've screamed that it's a wonder. I've done all I can. There's plenty get, of English. Yeah, I, I know. I get. I, I scream. Come on, get the Polish craft beer to the UK, into Belgium, into France. I, I don't know. It's frustrating for me. Because you've got one of the best brewers from America going to Poland. Me, little me, I've gone to Poland. And and it's frustrating. Beer 52 uh, 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 said, come on, what what is it? That, that, what's the problem? Why can't we get this beer out into the world? Because you've got a fantastic scene. You've got a wonderful scene of beer and it should be shared with the world. What's the what's going on? Well, why can't it share? But we share, we share with uh, different countries. But generally, UK is not a very promising uh, market. Yeah, yeah in yeah. case of Brexit, yeah. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I think so. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Uh, have we got any comments on this? Any anything? Yeah, I I feel a, a, a bit uh, hungry. After, after this, uh... what have I got a few? What would you like to eat, Tommy? Cheese. Some, some cheese. If okay. not, chips. I have cheese. Cheese? You have cheese? Yeah, the Welsh, Welsh cheese. Where? <laughs> okay. Best organic cheese. Okay. Eat. It's cool. I'm going to eat some crisps. Some chicken, chicken wings. <laughs> it's amazing. we got like 235 people watching. It's amazing. How are you? Okay, so... What do you think about this beer? Um, I agree. I think, mind you, I've just eaten the chili crisp, so I need another taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it it's fresh. One was a bottle. Do you know, is it a bottle in this? Probably. It was bottled 22 May 2018. And they give one year for this beer. Okay. Double dry hopped IPA. One year. It's crazy. No. We've tried some English IP, you know, uh, IPAs from, England, um, from Welsh, from UK. And there's three months maximum. Yes, yes. Um, Maybe in cloud water was uh, was a bit longer, but it was uh, from May to September. It's four months. Four months. So one year in uh, hobby beer, it's it's a joke. Yeah. Um. I. I, I think. We should go with the next beer. I think it's already yeah. it's already oxidated. Yeah, it's not very very bad, but it's not good. No. Um. Yeah. It's a it's a bit of a shame. It's a bit of a shame. But yeah, on with the next one. On with the next one. Oh, we had the um. This was it, wasn't it? Left yeah. hand giant. I'm going to let Tomek introduce this. I'm going to eat some crisps because as beer reviewers, 
Food is important. Fat is important, I think. Very good, uh, very good cheese. Very milky. Yeah. Very good cheese. Do you want some cheese and jalapeno? Left hand giant, time loop, for an extra salt. Iskem Gold, Iskem Goldings, Bramling Cross, Molds, Pale Ale, Chocolate, Crystal, Roasted Barley, Black Mold. Yeast SO4. Suitable for vegans. Vegans. Vegans, yeah. Vegans. 12th uh, June, 12th December. Um, so we said Simon usually comes to the pizza party for the burgers. That'd be good. You're free? Yeah. I asked Jemek to invite you. Look at this. I I'm going to ask you as a fellow beer reviewer. What is it about a dark, stout, porter, imperial style beer at the end of the night? Does it give you this kind of self nice feeling? The, 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 um, you know, that we all. As reviewers, we all review stouts last, don't we? You all go IPA, yeah, pale, I love stouts. and then but no, but I stout prefer last. imperial yeah. stouts. Yes, yes. But for me, there's something a, a lovely feeling about a stout that, that's last. Review it last. Very chocolatey. Yeah. Chocolate, caramel, cocoa. Very good for an extra salt. Very good. Very chocolatey, not very uh, burnt, not very uh, roasted. Very smooth. Lactose. Lots yeah, of lactose. We probably no. not, not use lactose. No, there's no lactose. It feels like it. Yeah. yeah, it's very smooth. Mm. It's like a like a foreign extra milk stout, but it's yeah. not lactose. It's very smooth, very. Very good beer. Really lovely. Raisin mixed with coffee, mixed with Bit of chocolate mixed with caramel. Lots going on I'm, with the cheese. It Amazing. Must be, it must, must be. I'm gonna grab some cheese. There's seven percent ABV, but there's no hint of alcohol. Mm. No hint. Oh, with the bit, with the perfectly cheese balanced. Mm. These, uh, as I mentioned earlier on in the sh in, in Panath, left hand giants are absolutely. Do you it's know when a, the brewery comes a, along? They do no wrong. It, it, they it, do it, no wrong. It's a hot thing in uh, in Bristol, yeah. Left yes. Hand giant, yeah. yeah. And South Wales, big. Everybody wants to drink left hand joint. Next, yeah, yeah. cloud water, the dance. And it's worth it. Mm, yeah. Very good. It's got that lovely. It's it's like biting into this cheese. It, it it's just got a lovely. Silky finish. Yeah, it's very it. silky. Yeah, very, yeah, it's very silky. Beautiful. Low carbonation, a lot of chocolate, mm. a lot of velvety 
Yes, yes. Yeah. Like a bloody good cheese, I suppose. Um, look at the lacing. The lacing on the glass. Look at that. And this glass has been punished tonight. This glass had all sorts of different beers poured into it. But look, the lacing is incredible. Good carbonation still. The bitterness is a mixture of the, the roasted malts and the hops. Left hand giant. Etykieta, bo to jest etykieta, bo to się odkleja z tej puszki. To przypomina troszkę sondę. Yeah, uh, very good beer. Very, very good beer. Incredible. Incredible. I think we can... Uh... Call it a day. It's been a good night. Do you think so? Yeah. We're both thinking the same thing. We've done an incredible night of beer. There's one... We didn't drink that one. Two, three, four, five. Go on, comment, Thomas. Carry on counting. Six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 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 We done eleven. Eleven. <laughs> we done eleven beers. <laughs> we're like two old boxers leaning on the ropes now we're kind of gone we're finished yeah um, we're, we're going to relax close the uh, live stream and <laughs> live stream. get drunk <laughs> stone the crows stone the crows stone, stone the crows excellent Sorry. Right. yeah let's cheese it off na zdrowie na zdrowie what is the toast in Welsh? Um, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> in English. What is um, in, uh, in Welsh? Because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm we, sorry. We, we are going uh, through the Wales, and uh, I realized that it's very, very similar like in Kashubi in Poland. You don't understand nothing, but it's nice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because we have a uh, we have a uh, region in Poland which is Kashubi, yeah. uh, which is you know not a nation but something like that. Yeah. Oh, like like a, like a Catalonia in Spain. Less, a little bit. Less, less, yeah, less. less. Okay. So they have their own names on the uh, uh, signs and yeah. so on, and you go there and okay. It's cool, but okay. who speaks the <laughs> language? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I asked uh, Simon if uh, someone speaks uh, uh, Welsh. It's... Be because I asked, my, my first question was, it's Gaelic? In Welsh, yeah. It's Welsh. 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 It's not Gaelic, it's Welsh. So everyone, anybody it's speaks... In the schools, it's compulsory. You have to speak it in the schools. You have to. You speak have it? to. Yeah, yeah. In you the, have to speak Welsh in the schools. Yeah. Your, my, your, my children, your kids have to speak. Yeah. Speak Welsh. My wife. And they speak Welsh. Yeah. And uh, you don't. No. You are a Welshman and don't speak no, Welsh. No. No. Fuck me. <laughs> but my wife is English. She's from Salisbury, uh, with the terror Russian things going on, and. We're, we're like, what the hell? They have to speak Welsh in the schools. They, they, it's. Is it what's the word for permanent? They, can, they permanent come from people. school and speak Welsh, and you understand nothing. It's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the signs and let's uh, let's fire up that is <laughs> 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 exactly yeah 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 exactly it's amazing but we are a very proud nation. The, the, oh yes, yes. The the rugby, the football. We rugby, yeah. You, you know, good at um, rugby. Do you, do you know the hairs on the back of your neck it, when the when the anthem sings? You yeah, sure. It's uh, I am well. Here, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> I yeah yeah. we we're, we're yeah. You have your own anthem in, in Welsh. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it, it's nice. But so, how do you feel 
now uh, as a Welshman when uh, England is in a uh, quarter uh, quarter uh... I love it oh, I, lo I love it it's my favourite <laughs> <laughs> no be honest be honest um, oh, take a deep breath um, I've met so many friendly uh, again it's about breaking down barriers what when I go to breweries is generally in England and I meet some lovely people and and for me it's about people it's not about barriers it's not about the barriers it's not about the nation you live there you live there I see people and if somebody's lovely to me and 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 we're we're great friends then that's fine um Years ago, mind, I'll be honest with you, years ago when I was a youngster, I was always brought up, and it was just a Welsh thing. I was always brought up as a Welshman to hate the English, and you kind of grow out of that. You kind of grow up, and you kind of, why? Why do I have to hate the English? Yeah, your wife is English. Exactly. My, I'm married. My wife is English. My, my wife's an English lady. And she's a beautiful so woman, and why you, would I want to hate? A <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is, I, I don't. You from the from a very young age in Wales, you're brought up to hate the English, and it's it's been a journey. I'll be honest, I'm not I'm not stupid. It's a journey, but but I I I I hope they win the World Cup. I hope they win the World Cup. <laughs> yeah. But on the other hand, that is, in my opinion, it's very, very probable that, especially connecting to Brexit, that Scotland divides from UK. Yeah, yeah. probably, probably. What about you? Uh, well, uh, Wales. Um, we're, we're behind. Um, Scottish... They wanted their own government long before Wales. Uh, we 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 were too close. The country too close to the London. Yes, yeah, we're doing too. Prince of Wales will be exactly. uh, in a few minutes. Uh, uh, King of England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, exactly, exactly. In all honesty, we we benefit. Too much from London, as the, London is the heartbeat of the UK. Without London, the UK would be completely gone. Yeah, there, there were the gone, idea that know. London stay in the EU. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the rest of it. <laughs> but yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. It would be it would be crazy, but we wouldn't survive without London. We will, none of us. How many people live in Rome? Twenty people, twenty million, uh, probably. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's incredible, incredible. Okay, so we are uh, we we tried all the six uh, beers from. Oh, what about what about the Irish? Um, we must mention the Irish. Um, we love Irish. I love yeah. <laughs> I, I love every again. It's about look at all this now. Lots of people are telling me to fuck off yeah, here, but but um, I'm not anti anything. I'm not. I'm not. This is the point. Anti it? only anti multinational uh, brews. Exactly, multinational beers that get brewed all around the world. International lager, pissed off. Exactly. I see people as people. I don't see barriers. I don't see any barriers, and that that's my that's my that's my finish on this subject. Cheers. Vasha <coughs> Zdrowie. What is the... Let's love you. Cheers. 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 Shall we finish, Tommy? Mm -hmm. Thank you all for watching. Um, to Thanks immigrants. for all donations. Uh, Simon, for new immigrants in your house. Um, now, do you know what? I'm going to comment on this. Hang on. <laughs> this is... This is... A, Triggered you. This is... Do you know what? I don't agree. I don't agree... If you don't want to watch my channel anymore, don't watch it. There's no immigrants here, only friends. Only friends. Piss off.
Right, how do you end the 